Hello, fluffy people of the world. My name is Liquid Blitz, and welcome back to Dark Souls 1. Now, uh, I haven't done too much since the last episode. Um, what I did do was realize I'm a bit of a fool. <laughs> um, so I forgot that skeletons are actually weak against strike and blunt. Now, I didn't have a whole bunch of blunt weapons going for me, but I did have one, um, which is kind of semi-useful. It was the Occult Club, if you remember right. Um, it was called Occult Club, and I think it was just like level one Occult. Um, and I, I looted that as is from somewhere in Anno Orlando. Well, it came to my attention. Um, I've been traveling back and forward between different blacksmiths. It came to my attention. You can turn, uh, you can downgrade that into plus five divine, which is what I did. Um, it's now plus seven. Yeah, I, I did that, so I downgraded it to plus five divine, um, and then I upgraded it to plus seven. My divine Aito, um, I can't remember if I did that last episode or not, but I've got that to plus nine. I do have a white slab to get that to maximum, plus ten, but because, because clubs and strike damage is supposed to be better against skelly bobs, I, um, I think I might want to save it for the club and rather than the katana because I kind of want a katana at normal um normal upgrade plus 15 but that said I've I've spent a few well not that long um but I spent like a good couple of hours practicing between sword and club and honestly the the sword seems better despite the fact that the club is supposed to be strong against them um, like, I don't know if the Divine is kind of overriding all of that, or, or what. Um, if you see what I'm saying. It is plus nine and the club is only plus seven. Um, but even not counting the damage, it, it, like, slight increase from the plus nine over the plus seven, the, the attacks with the club are lower damage, they're slower, and it doesn't seem to have any benefit over Slash. So I might just you you know I've got them both equipped and I'm medium rolling still so I'll I'll switch between them um, until like ten minutes ago as of starting this recording I was still undecided whether I should start the DLC now or commit to find to just just powering through the Tomb of the Giants um, and yeah basically. It was a, it was a toss-up, but I've decided to stop. As <laughs> I've had this thought many times in this playthrough, but I've, I've decided to stop being a bitch. I've got upgraded weapons since I last tried this. Um, I've I've got a bit of a better idea of what to expect with both your skeletons and Grave Lord Nito. So you know, I'm just gonna try and commit. And if shit, if this takes more than two hours to be doing passably well against Grave Lord Nito, then I might have to really either edit this episode hard to get it to fit into one episode, or just switch to doing the DLC first. Um, now, I've got, you might have noticed I'm human. That's because I actually went human and kindled this bonfire um, to 20. This is the closest bonfire to the boss. You know, it's still a long way away. Like, I've made the run a few times, killing skeletons. I looted some more white uh, shards, to, which is how I've upgraded these weapons so much. Um, and I've just been learning the path in my head. Because I want this episode to be as smooth as possible. So, that said, it's still been a couple of days, even since all that practice. So, I've, I need to learn the path. Um, I'm going to use my pyromancy just to kill... Um, my way down, if you see what I'm saying. Uh, um, but but I want to I want to learn the path down to the boss so well that I can basically sprint past all these mobs so I don't have to kill them every time. I'll kill my, my way this one time if you get what I'm saying. Just so this first time is smoother. Um, See, I'm using the club now, but the club doesn't seem particularly strong. I mean, that's a big old power attack I'm doing there. Ow. 
Um, I also thought, just for these skeletons, it's probably useful. Um, I put on your um, physical protection ring at least until I'm outside the boss door. Um, same with the lantern and not the shield. Just because I, I figured I'm going to be taking some hits no matter what I do on the way down to the boss. So I might as well have whatever protection I possibly can. Right, so where the fuck am I going? Also, I've realised, again, um, that you can sprint with the lantern equipped for light, which is a very good thing. You know, I suppose it doesn't matter if I take a few hits on the way down. Now I've got 20 flasks rather than 5 like last episode. Um, I could have probably done more preparation and got my club to plus 9. So then I've got a choice of upgrading either to plus 10. But uh, for now, it's fine. Oh, this little bastard is still here. Uh, what? What? Dark Spirit Paladin, what? What the fuck? Um, did that say Dark Paladin something? Right, hang on, can I put my uh, shield on real quick? <gasps> He's behind my ass. He's behind my ass. I would love to have my shield. I, um, I might just have to... God, I want my shield. Oh, God, no, bad. He's got a big fucking weapon. Fucking hell. Right, uh... Okay, fuck the shield. Let's just, uh, go full-blown. <laughs> fuck you. Oh, shit. Did he just... Right, he did a lot of damage. No, no, no. Fuck you, he just negated all my awesome damage. That's right, fuck you. I can't believe this happened. Dark Spirit Paladin Leroy was vanquished. Why do the messages keep appearing like they, they flash? It's weird. Humanity acquired... Um, plus two. Grant and Sanctus. Oh, interesting. Yeah, the very last thing I did in preparation for today's episode episode was go human specifically to kindle that bonfire to 20 and then I logged out on that fire and started this episode here today. I genuinely didn't know this was a fucking thing. You know, I'm regretting not going human more. I I'm thinking every single area has an invasion and I've missed like 8 out of 10 of them, you know what I mean? Um, but it is what it is. Ch oh, let's check those out. Sanctus Shield. I have been thinking, I wonder if I'm going to get some gear at some point that protects me from either Divine or kind of the opposite. Because I've been thinking of every conceivable advantage against these damn skeletons and undead and shit. And I thought, maybe they are weak to Divine, so maybe they are doing some kind of undead damage, and maybe I can protect myself against that? Um, Sanctus sounds like it should definitely have some Divine protection. Shield Strike, a legendary weapon of the Way of the White. Granted to an undead paladin long ago. Once blessed with the protection of a white flame, but its power has all but faded. So that it only provide it provides only slight HP recovery. Say what? That guy gave me a soft humanity, by the way. By the way, my cat is sleeping behind my monitor, so if 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 my cat makes a rare appearance. Well, she might, she might make a rare appearance. Anyway, uh, let me read the other thing. So, okay, that's, that's like one of very few shields that actually seems to do something. I had one that gives you stamina. Um, I kind of want to take some damage just to see how much health. Oh, hang on. Just to see how much health it gives you. What's the requirement for this? 18 faith. Oh, fuck that. I won't get- I will not get the magical shit without that, will I? Hmm. Let me just see... Grass, that's the one that gives you s stamina. Yeah. Very interesting, but I can't- I can't get the, uh... Magical effect, so fuck that. Uh, anyway, I need my shield on from now on. Um... 
You know what? I might literally want to consider that grass shield. Um, and speaking of stamina recovery, I won't just yet. But um, speaking of stamina recovery, that stamina recovery ring, I tested that just running around before, that like doubles your stamina recovery, so that's fantastic. Um, again, not going to bother just yet, because I want to... Oh, it's, you know, it's a toss-up between physical defense and the poise. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with poise. Otherwise, I won't get a single attack off against this boss. I got a soft humanity as well for killing that dude. Ooh. You know what, I might just run past all these fuckers. Whoa, 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 calm down, calm down. Oh, I'm falling down now, it's, it's, it's fucked now. Now I've got those little babies chasing me. <sighs> you know, this this place stresses me out so much. Can you tell I'm already stressed before the episode has begun? <laughs> oh, oh, I should say, um, in my um, checking out of this area and practicing and shit, I found a, the one white slab I've got, I found just out there in a corridor. Right, I'm going to try the sword, just because it's faster and more damage. And it seems to be just a good, as good against skeletons. Um, I'll keep your sword out. Right, I've used most of my pyromancy. Uh, just getting here this time. Hopefully I can run past shit and not waste it next time, because I will be dying. But I think I'm good to just go. Fuck the souls, fuck the humanity, I don't, I don't care at this point. Um, I've just got have some balls. Now I've got enough da compared to using the halberd or whatever. I've got some. I've got good enough damage to actually kill skeletons now. I think fuck. Um, and I think I will try and kill your skeletons uh, before he spawns too many of them, because I don't want to just focus on the boss and have like seventy skeletons following me. And uh, what are, what are the tactics? Are there? Um, uh, yeah, that weird fire spike thing he does. I've got to learn how to avoid that shit. I remember sprinting and it still hits you, so I think you might just have to time the roll or... I wonder if he only does that at long range. So you've got to get close range to him. Okay, this is the first of many attempts. <laughs> Let's go for him. Oh, fuck me, right. Either I'm strong or they're weak as fuck. I might as well just try and do all my pyromances while I've got a moment, you know what I mean? Ow. <laughs> oh, I am strong as fuck, have you noticed? I'm wondering if I, like... Oh, he does toxic as well. What's he doing? Well, fuck it. This guy is slow as fuck, have you noticed? Ooh, but he's strong. <laughs> okay, he really is slow. I don't... Right, I thought that might happen. <laughs> okay, he's got an AoE. Um, am I just much more prepared this time, or was I really weak last time because of the weapon situation? He seems like a bitch. Oh, he does a double swipe. He's not a bitch. I need that toxic shit to run out. Oh, calm down. Oh, fuck. That's not good. Right, I'm gonna die. I'm actually gonna die. You old bastards. You fucking bastards. I would like to... Oh, God. I need to kill him, really.
Oh, that right, yeah. Oh, you can roll away from your fire spike. Let's get closer to him, because... Oh, he just killed his little minion. Do you see that? <laughs> okay. Hang on. Right. Okay, that scream is the fire spike. Got it. Right, let's let's just stay close range. You missed. Ooh. Right, can you kill your friend, please? Your little bitch. Over here. <laughs> he probably will, you know. Hang on, let's see if he does. <laughs> okay, right. You're killing your friends. Oh, shit. Let's just do my Chaos Storm now. Fuck it. Dude, that is such high damage. I need to run away. I've used so many health pots already. Dude, I'm doing great. Oh, God. Dude, I'm loving the fact he kills his own boys. That makes this fight a lot easier. Oh, fuck, every time he does that. <sighs> right, okay, let's just stay close range where he kills his own boys. It makes it so much easier. Look how much damage I'm doing, man. Ow. Okay, let's heal. Let's not get complacent. He's not. It's not over till it's over, you know what I'm saying? Oh, that's easy, man. Get fucked. Like, get absolutely fucked. Get more fucked than everyone who's been fucked ever. <laughs> Lord Soul. Oh. It's just called Lord Soul. The other ones are, like, properly named. Humanity. What was that achievement I just got? Ba -da 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 -da. Fuck off, friends list. Defeat Grave Lord Nito. Okay. Odd. That was so much easier using my leveled up weapons. Like, bruh. Anything down here? Like a bonfire, I guess? Um, I've just released the previous episode, um, like, an hour before I started recording this one, so I haven't had a chance to get any feedback yet. And you might have answered already. Um, and if you have, I will read those comments and ignore my question right now. But um, because I've just killed this guy, can I not join the Gravelord Covenant anymore? Because I swear it was the same place, same grave, same boss that you speak to. Um, in fact, let's... Uh, let me just make sure there's nothing here. And then I might try traveling to the Gravelord thing, because I'm sure I've got a fast travel. There's nothing in here, is there? Can I warp to every boss room? Crystal Cave is one. Tomb of the Giants. The Abyss. Yeah, you can. So I'm guessing once I leave this place, I can come back here. Uh... Oh no, the Gravelord one isn't here. That's one Covenant. That's another. That's another. That's another. Okay, then. Well, let me know about the Gravelord thing. I'm well aware that it, I think it's a PvP... Um, ...covenant, though, so I'm never going to use it. <laughs> Not ever. Um, let's use these well-earned souls on leveling up, shall we? Um, ooh. You know, I really do think the hybrid thing is the way to go. Uh, unless you're going going for those crazy strength uh, weapons. Um, resistances are pointless. 
Yeah. The resistances barely go up with a level compared to just putting on some better armor. Mm. Mm. Tell you what, let's go one more point of health. So I've got 32, 32. And then... Mmm. Let's go point of dex. Because, you know, I'm actually really glad I, n I didn't use my white slab on this sword now. It's, uh, you know, because that would have been a v kind of a waste. I'm pretty much... Am I not done with Tomb of the Giants now? So I don't need Divine anymore. So I'll probably end up divining that club to plus ten. Just so it's... it's Truly is your, your skeleton killing weapon. It's club and it's divine. And I, I really think the katana has to be the weapon I take to plus 15. I just love the aesthetic of it. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm preparing for, si for Sekiro. <laughs> I don't know anything about that game other than that people love it and it's much more sort of um, samurai leaning than other Souls games from what I've seen. But look at that, that's just samurai move set right there. Um, so yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. Okay, well, I do believe I've got every soul, so I can finish, finish the game, aka, like, get wrecked by a final boss over and over. I think the time is now, ladies and gentlemen. DLC time. Um, but before we do, I'd love to do the DLC with a plus 15 katana. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, so let's warp to, uh, I mean, fuck it, let's warp to Firelink. Thanks for all your feedback for episode 13, I think it was. And, uh, yeah. And f I assume for episode 14, but, uh, I haven't got there yet. People have told me repeatedly that it is obvious when you're commencing the end of the game. Like, I, I bet I would be safe speaking to Snake. I'd probably even be safe going down there as long as I don't start doing ship with the Lord Vessel with, and the Souls. And even then, I'd probably still be, be okay. But uh, I'm just not going to even remotely entertain that idea. Um, I'll just keep the Souls on me, you know? Speaking of, let me have a little read here. Um, uh, there, right. So yeah. Bequeath Lord So Oh right, I see. Oh they they are different. Bequeath Lord Soul Shard, same with that. So they both had a, a bequeathed shard. Bequeath means they were given it, I do believe. If my knowledge of Old English is something. If I am bequeathed something, it means I've been given something officially. You can be bequeathed a title, like Sir, blah, 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 blah. So, they were given shards of a Lord Soul, but he, Gravelord Nito, had a full-blown soul. First of the dead. Um, let me, let me quickly read all these again. A fragment of a Lord's soul discovered at the dawn of the Age of Fire. A fragment of the Lord's soul discovered at the dawn of the Age of Fire. So they had fragments of a Lord's soul. I I need to go back and read in the previous episode what the other soul was that I handed in and see if that was a fragment as well. Oh, there you go. Read down below. Although this is not a full Lord's soul, it can still satiate the Lord Vessel. Same with that one. Soul of Grave Lord Nito, first of the dead. This Lord Soul was discovered at the dawn of the Age of Fire. Grave Lord Nito administers the death of all manner of beings. The power of this soul is so great that it satiates the Lord Vessel, despite the fact that much of its energy has already been offered to death. Interesting. Wellity, wellity, wellity. Hmm. And I did it while human. I tell you, you use the right weapon, and you push a boss, and it is 20 times easier. If the Four Kings and Gravelord Nito, and Seath the Scaleless, 
and probably a bunch of other bosses have taught me anything, it's that point blank range, you're safer. You, you seem to get slapped when you're long range. Right, anyway, let's stop talking shit. I shall go and see Andre and we'll make a decision on the katana. Ah, oh, that was that is such a headache relieved. After the the the, the travesty <laughs> that was the end of the last episode, that the last hour where I just got slapped like three times, I really thought it was harder than it actually was. Go figure. Okay. Well, hello. You seem need anything for. And just to be clear, I haven't like leveled up since the last episode. I just uh, upgraded the weapons a couple of times. Right. So that's divine. That's ultra divine. Uh, so yeah, to to get my occult club back down to divine, I think I went on that tab there, where you can undo it. Uh, yeah, and it went from occult normal to plus five divine. But anyway, um, so, I like to think I'm done with the undead, and even if I'm not, I can always sink more upgrade shit into my club and use that. I think it's got to be the katana for plus 15. Um, maybe in the future I'll use the- I never found the claymore that people have been telling me to get, by the way, I don't know where that is. And the Zweihander and things like that. I like them, fantastic damage. But it's a motherfucking katana. I'll be seeing you then. And real quick, I didn't check out Paladin Leroy's weapon as well. He, I didn't just get that shield. I got a weapon. Um, what was it? That was it, Grant. That looks like a right. If you tell me that's like strike and like fucking divine, I'm gonna cry. It fucking is. Strike is literally strike and divine. Oh. Great hammer. I bet that's a a complete bastard against skeletons. Meaning good. Although fuck that. Fifty fifty fucking strength and thirty faith. I mean that the highest strength requirement I've seen yet is Smaug's hammer with like sixty strength required. Fifty and thirty faith is like That's ridiculous. That's eighty that's 80 fucking levels, essentially. Well, fuck that. I'll read it, but fuck it. A legendary weapon of the Way of the White. Granted to an undead paladin long ago, this mass of iron can only be lifted by those with inhuman strength, but it is blessed and very effective against the agents of dark, as are a couple of my weapons. So. Fuck that. Uh... Never did use the greatsword, but apparently um, somebody told me that there's two versions of that. I've got the cursed one, even though it doesn't tell me that it's fucking cursed, and the other one isn't. Um, but I didn't even need it. Um, where the fuck? There it is. Right. Okay. And now I reckon my damage will actually increase when I downgrade this. Just through sheer strength and dexterity. Well, hello will get used. Need any? Um, I definitely don't want it divine anymore because the ceiling of my damage is, is greatly limited because I've got no points in faith, and divine requires faith. So it's not going to break my heart to downgrade it. I, I sort of I regret putting so many white shards into it, but fuck it. So. Do I have to downgrade it twice, like officially? Um, fuck it. I've always got the club as backup. Done. And then... There you go. Divine plus five to regular plus five, that's correct. Uh, and then do I have to modify it to plus six? There. Yes. Now, I might have to take like a... I don't know, an hour break here. Farm a couple of shards, um, or whatever, just to get this to at least like plus ten. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it's only basic things that are, that are required, and I can't buy some of the things from this blacksmith. I'll have to go to the giant, and there I need souls for that. So 
farm incoming, maybe? Mm. Mm. It's a, this isn't right. This is only Dex, but that's fine. I can just commit to Dex at this point, maybe. Right, let's do it. Plus six. And then reinforce. It requires large shard. You can't buy large shards from him, can you? But you can from Giant Blacksmith. Uh, right, I'll do what I can. At least I don't need Andre's shitty little shards anymore. I need the large ones, so I don't have to come back here again. Now, if I'm led to believe uh, correctly by y'all, as we're upgrading all this shit, um, I believe the DLC starts in the Darkroot Basin. Past the waterfall is what people have told me. Something to do with Crystal Boys, and I guess we'll go from there. I'd like to avoid... Plus seven. I'd like to avoid googling it if I can. Right, so, I need plus eight, plus nine... I think it's just eight and nine, so I need, like, one shard and then I'll need three. Or two lots of three. I need quite a lot. Um, Right. This might be a... Uh... Oh, there you go. Altar of the Gravelord. Okay. Right, I'm going to edit this down for you guys so you're not just watching me haul ass all over the world. But, um... Let's go to the Chamber of the Princess. Let's jump cut forward to the giant blacksmith and then we'll see what we need. And then I might have to do just a little bit of farming. A minimal amount just to buy the shards necessary. I do believe, just before I jump cut, um, I've got the chunks needed to go from plus 10 to plus 14. I've got 15 of those. That shuts, I've got enough chunks. I reckon I'll need like 10 chunks or something to get to plus 14. And then I... I don't have a slab, do I, to get to plus 15? D did I have a s one slab, but I used it on the plus 10 lightning weapon? I did, didn't I? Right, okay. Okay. Well, I'm happy to get to plus 14 today, and... Oh, I can just hope that I find a second slab before the end of the game. And if I don't, it's fine. And we are here, so... I've got a couple more souls. Uh, I've got killed two of those big giants and a silver knight on the way in. Okay, so what's the crack? Um, I might have just enough souls to buy the shards I need and no more. So I need at least three, maybe four. Um, that's it. Okay. They're not as they're not as expensive as the twinkling ones, so it's not that bad. Um, one, two. Uh, let's get three. Let's see if that's enough. Da -da 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 -da. There and there. Um, right. Oh, ooh, I need to buy three more. I'm on zero out of three. Uh. Right, how many souls do I need then? 4,000... 11,400. Maths. 11,4. Do I have enough sold items? I'm li I'm too lazy to farm a couple of mobs. <laughs> if I can... Uh, hang on, what am I doing? Right, let's just use up everything I've got. Oh. Oh, well, there you go. Jesus. Da -da -da. Let's get all three. Hey. And then I should be able to just sink chunks in right here. I, I don't think I've got to go anywhere specific. Plus ten. Well, that's, that's left the list now. Do I have to... Oh. I've got to go to Andre to... Upgrade it officially to plus 10. That's crystal, lightning, boss. Oh, I do, don't I? But let's just be clear I do have to go to Andre, don't I? 
Yeah, I do. Okay. Well, I am literally too lazy to run to any fire, even though the way back is clear. I'm literally going to home bone. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a lazy piece of shit. Okay. Oh, I didn't even rest at that other bonfire that I arrived at either, so I'm straight back here. Worth it. Ooh. Right, okay. Well, uh, you need it. Can somebody let me know in the comments what the maximum potential Estus Flask plus number is in one playthrough? Let's say you use every Firekeeper soul, including ones for like resurrecting the Firelink woman. Let just use using every single one. What's the maximum you can get to? Because I've got to say, I don't think I used one or two of them. And I'm, I seem to be doing absolutely fine. Right, anyway, modify. Uh, there, plus 11. I hadn't even looked at the damage, but it's looking to be going up nicely. Go get yourself. Let's just get some distance on the hammering noise. Right, okay. Reinforced weapon, here we go. It always seems to use exactly 10 of whatever upgrade material is needed, so I've got 14. I thought I had 15. No, it's telling me I've got 14. But anyway, plus 12. Plus 13. Oh. Oh. And there we go. Titanite slab, 0 out of 1. Honestly, absolute shame I used it on the lightning spear. I didn't even need to use the lightning spear. Unless I've missed some serious shit. By the way, that's a good point. I can't. I keep forgetting, and I've forgotten for like five episodes straight. I'm gonna go up now to that red motherfucking dragon on the bridge and see if I can kill it. I keep forgetting to go back, and I finally remembered. Um... Let's do that shit now. Now, yeah, I've just... Re I was reminded by the lightning talk. I was about to say, I don't know if people have, like, out... Um, overplayed how much, like, dragons and shit exists in this game. But I've had very little reason to use lightning. There's been, like, no dragons. I've had light... Ironically, lightning dragons in the Valley of the Drakes, which are resistant to lightning uniquely... But I haven't seen any other dragons or drakes or shit that's weak to lightning. Um, maybe I'll find some in the DLC or something. Uh, what the fuck am I looking for? What am I doing? Um, oh yeah, weapon. Now that I've got upgraded to plus 14, how good is it? 211. Now peep- oh, it's gone up from- it's gone up to A, deck scaling, that's, so that's even better. That's right, I've just- yeah. The damage seemed to jump up there from like 150 to 190 or something in one go. That must be the deck scaling going up to an A. And I keep forgetting this has got a bleed effect as well in addition to the damage. And it's faster than most other weapons. Christ, this is a good weapon. Thanks for everyone who's been clarifying what that plus means. Um, but I've got one further question. You all have been telling me that I get it. <laughs> Finally. It took me like 15 episodes and like 76 comments on it. But I finally took it into my brain that that plus number is the, um, the bonus you get from your stat scaling. So that plus 120 comes from my dex stats. So, I get that, but my next question is, and I'm pretty sure I know the answer already, but does that plus 120, is that included in the 211, or is it in addition, so it's actually 331 total? I think it is, because it would be kind of, you know, or is it? Uh, let me know. I think it's in addition, so I think that's a total of 331 damage, not... 211. Um, yeah, it must be. Right, so. Thank God I fucking remembered. Um, I guess now's the time to do any clearing up. Uh, yeah. 
sorry, I seem a bit lost. I, I was expecting Grave Lord Nito and the Tomb of the Giants to take way longer this episode. And I'm done in, like, fucking no time at all. So I'm a bit flustered as to what to do next. Um, DLC is coming last. With the exception of the end of the game. Um, other than that, it's basically looking for Onion Head and his daughter, who are both still missing, by the way. So I'd like to resolve that and maybe complete some sort of quest there. Um, but then there's also that dragon. And I, if I go for Onion Head first, I will forget about that damn dragon. So... <laughs> it's been like, how many hours? It's, it must have been a good 13 of like 12 episodes since I last saw that dragon. Which is like four hours per episode. It's been like 40 hours. <laughs> oh, so I'm a bit late to the giant, uh, to the dragon. Um, but where's the best place to warp to? Um, I'm not that far away if I go up here, really. Uh, Firelink Shrine, I've got to go up the grass, up the bridge, through most of the undead burg, I think. Uh, oh, my brain is not handling anything well. What the fuck is the fastest way there? You know, I'm surprised I don't have an undead burg warp place, you know. The closest place is probably here, the... Uh, the Undead Parish. Finally try No, I don't want to no. I'll try going from here, but I'm, I'm probably wolf, woefully misjudging this. It's probably best to run from Filing Shrine and just go up the hill or something. But fuck it, I should be strong enough now to just roll through all monsters. Let's two-hand this motherfucker and see how high damage it is. I really should have, like, just gone f Katana from the beginning. I love Katanas, like, one of my favorite classes of, you know, weapons and shit. Now, hang on. That's another good point. The running attack of the Katana is fucking awesome. It's just a lunge, isn't it? Hang on. That is a really good running attack. Like, it's a f not only is it a, quite a long-reaching lunge, that's a fast lunge as well. Right. Well, what do I do here? <laughs> um, yep. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm going back to newbie basics here, but uh, I guess let's just try running through all this shit, running through the rats, not dying, and just getting to that bridge. Can I just, uh... I was hoping they would come at me a bit faster, I'll be honest. Oh, he's still got a hit. <laughs> Oop, okay. That was a fail. Isn't it amazing how far I've come? <laughs> Ooh, shot. Well, thanks for that. Oh, speaking of, uh... Oh, I'll, I'll keep the poise ring on. Yeah, I remember, I remember when these guys would, sh would scare the shit out of me, you know? Just generally. Now I'm just waltzing through without a care in the world. I'm, l I'm laughing at boars in the face, even. If this boar was still alive, I would laugh as I poked it in the ass. I'm not even looking. I'm just sidestepping. <laughs> you missed. Oh, I'm just a professional now. I'm a consummate professional. It took the entire length of the game. And frankly, I still suck. Uh, there's the dragon. I can hear it. Um... I, I've been led to believe you can, like, long-range this motherfucker. And that's one of the valid tactics and ways of doing it. You know, I bet this bonfire is warpable, because there's no other warpable shit nearby. 
What have you got? You ain't shit. Stop turning. Thank you. <laughs> right. Honest to God, these rats may end up killing me. They're so powerful. So let's just, let's not take them for granted. Seriously. Right, okay, thank fuck. <laughs> Thanks for the humanity. I've still got, like, 36 humanity items, by the way. You know, I wouldn't... It wouldn't surprise me to learn that there's an a, a achievement for kindling every single fire in the game to max or something. <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah! If I was in charge of, um... The achievement department <laughs> in From Software. I would definitely put an achievement for kindling every fire. Maybe one for kindling every fire once and then kindling every single one to maximum. Just for the achievement hunters out there. Anyway. Right, isn't there a bonfire remarkably close to where I am right now? It's down here, isn't it? Now, I've been thinking about it in, like, the several weeks and months I've been playing this game. In the, in the uh, chasm of time between first seeing this dragon and getting roasted alive by him, and now, I've thought many times about how the fuck I should approach him, or what to do, because as far as I remember, that fire basically insta-kills you, it's so high damage. So much so that it seems scripted. Um, I might have to throw on my golden hemmed shit for fire protection. But let's just see. We might as well get him breathing. And then we'll just see. Is it gonna breathe yet? Am I gonna breathe? No. I want him to I want him to breathe. There he is. There we go. Okay. You know what, it, it cannot hurt to have fire defense ring on. Um, Other poise, I, I can't remember if fire damage stumbles you officially and stops you running, so that might be worth it. I've got two rings that might help. Lava damage, but I don't think that counts. And then the fire defense, that one, that can only fucking help. So let's just see how much damage I take. Uh... You see, it's not inconsistent. That's a lot of damage, even now. Um, th th having the shield raised did actually help just then. But I tell you what, just temporarily, I'll take these armors off and throw in your golden hem shit. In case you're wondering, I've like put uh, most of my shit away in the box now. Um, but this stuff was fantastic for fire. My flame defense, 325. If, if I can't run down this bridge now, and I, you've got to time it well, clearly. Let, let's just get my timing sorted here. I'll clearly... I think the shield is... Oh, that's a good point. Fire shield. Um, I'm going to go on this like 90%. I'm sure everyone was like 90. <gasps> Fuck it! Well, um, a light. Oh, for fuck. Instant kill. Okay. Okay. Um. First time I've seen him leave his perch. What the fuck? I was. I was. What was I gonna do? I was gonna put on a fire shield, ironically. And then I just saw that in the background a big old behemoth moving. Fuck him out. So he can leave his perch. And did you see that? That was actual instant kill. Which is odd. I feel like this guy is actually tougher than every boss I've fought yet. Um, now, while I've got a spare fucking moment, I know I've got a 90 fire defense shield and it's not a heavy shield. So that's a heavy one. No, I don't want the heavy ones. Let me let me really fucking pay attention. 
85 as a start. I am almost certain I've got a 90 fire shield. Hmm. Right, anyway, let's try that again. I've lost my... I'm back to being hollow again. Uh, I should probably stop being a little bitch. This is not a lightning dragon, so he's not resistant. So let's actually make use of that wasted slab. <laughs> In the form of my plus 10 lightning spear. Why is that plus 5? Is that the maximum? That must be the maximum. Or is it? No, that, that must be maximum. Because I spent a slab on it. Right, okay. Um, well, I'm not sure what to do then, because it, it, it did come at me out of its own accord eventually. Fucking hell. Oh, right, he's just off the... Right. Okay. This is completely different now. How the fuck did it get back there so fast? Well, thanks for killing all the things. Have I triggered something here that's changed stuff? Because I've had him breathe on the bridge many, many, many times earlier in the game when I was here last time. He never left that, and now he's leaving it regularly. Like it's absolutely normal. A fucking hell. Is this some special shit here? His fire is hitting me down here. What the fuck is this? Um, I don't care about the lost, the the one humanity there, really. I'll, I'll try and get it fast. Fast, 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 fast. Shield up. I guess I just got unlucky before and didn't see him leave his little perch. Ow. I need, to, I need to heal to full. It's like no damage until it's a lot of damage. <laughs> so... Should I just try running for this like a fucking lunatic? Up. Oh, stand up. I'd love to... I kind of want the fire. Hey, hey, hey. Why not? It's a big deal. Now, is he just chill, right? He's just... No! Come back! I didn't mean it. Is he actually just like fucked? No. Is he actually gone? And I've missed my opportunity. Have I fucked that? I just... I love the super slow, like, I'm out of here, bitch. Goodbye. Animation. Right. Fucking hell, you fuckers need to die. In fact, you need to die in style. Oh, for fuck's sake. D really? <laughs> right, fucking hell, right. I am I really getting slapped this hard? It's the spear combat, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not I'm not used to the spear. As a matter of fact. While I'm taking hits. Uh while I'm actively getting slapped. At least I can one-shot kill him as I, uh, please. Claymore! Ah, that's where it is! <laughs> oh, I see. It was here the whole time. Well, I'm a bit... confused. Can I open this gate finally? Thank fuck for that. Yeah, I mean, maybe resting at a different fire he'll be back here again, maybe? Or something. 
I'll see if I can spawn him back up here. And if he's if I rest and he's not here, then I've just permanently fucked it, I imagine. Um Let me just do a bit of ge uh, like geometry and geography here. Where is the tower that goes down to the basin? Like I'm trying to get a handle on the fucking geography. There was a bridge down there. Is is the garden basically where he's gone to? But it, I've got my whole situation wrong. I might as well go to the shortcut tower this way now, since I'm here. And I guess we'll commence the uh, the DLC. This dragon might have to wait until after the DLC now, since he's fucked off. Um, oh god, I've got to find my way to the tower that goes down to Havel. Where I got Havel's ring. It'd be cool if, he, if that fire dragon was indeed in the... Um, I don't want to be down here. Yeah, if I found him in the garden, in the basin, that would actually be really cool. I don't even have my good armor on, I should probably put it on. Just like that, everything has been like... F completely confused. I was expecting a good old dragon fight. Uh, let's just go back to your usual shit, I guess. There we go. Looking good and hollow again. Look at them all. Little bastards. Don't stand a chance against me. <laughs> I don't know, I can't, I'm not kidding you. I feel so strong. That knight isn't back again, is he? No. Okay. I think I've come to the right place. It's a bit of an awkward shortcut to get to, but it's down from here, isn't it? Or is it? Yeah, here it is. Okay. What a strange episode this has been so far. I need to learn the name of that red dragon as well. Maybe if I completely leave the area, because I, I rested at a fire, but I rested like the nearest fire. Maybe if I completely fuck off elsewhere in the game and then come back later, maybe he's there again. But, um... You see, I was confused. When I looked from that dragon bridge up there, I couldn't do the maths. I couldn't see this flat area down here. Like this whole flat area. I couldn't see it from up on the bridge and it confused me. I guess I'm just shit. Right, uh, let's put on the stability shield. I can just... Can I one-shot kill these crystal boys? Um... You know, I think these guys are resistant to all physical attacks, just generally, and I am almost one-shotting them. Or maybe I'm just horribly high level for the area. Whew. I'm getting horrible hydro flashbacks here. Okay. Well, this is where you fight the motherfucker now. Hang on, just just a second here. Let's put on your rusted iron ring so I can run. 
Now, I thought I checked everywhere out. Oh, fuck. It's just a crystal ball. I just had a mini heart attack. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, well, I know where I'm coming if I want to make an enchanted weapon or something. I don't know what I'm doing, by the way. Now, that's just the way up. I've... yeah. Up to the top of the garden. Let me get a, bit, a good handle on where the fuck the drop... the death ledge is. It's here. You can just see it. Just... oh god, you can't see from that angle. Um... I mean... I suppose I really should have come this way earlier in the game. Oh, it's all safe from here. Okay. Oh. Now I've I've killed my share of golden boys thanks to the um, crystal area. And when I released Zig Ziglind last episode, um, still a bit confused as to why the other two golden p things I killed had no one inside. But I think this is clearly going to have a person inside. Otherwise, there's no DLC. Uh, right, I'm not going to use Chaos Fire either. Calm down. It is going to be strongly resistant to physical. Uh, yes and no. It is, but it isn't. Very cool visual attacks, by the way. I knew it. Thanks for the lack of spoilers, by the way. People told me that the DLC starts here, but that's literally all I knew. I put together the fact that there'd be a person inside from having freed Ziglind already. Hello there, fair maiden. Or fair sir maiden. Whatever, whoever you are. So it is thou who rescueth me. Most yes, gracious, I am deeply obliged. I am Dusk of Ulysseo. I cometh from an age long before thine. I cannot stay here for long. Ulysseo! Before I disappear, allow me to ask one thing. My home, Ulysseo, is the home of ancient sorceries. My hope is to pass this profound knowledge to thee. With thine approval. I mean, be of assistance to the I'm not really into my sorceries in this playthrough, but I'd be a fool to say no and not do the DLC. <laughs> so, yes. Thanks. I am pleased beyond words. Then I shout, engrave my signature. If thou art in need, pray summon me from my signature. It seems that my time. Okay. May the great flames guide thee. Okay, that's one summon I clearly want to be doing. So far, I haven't su summoned anyone purely because I haven't needed to. I probably should have. Every time I've seen a golden name, I should have just done it just for the story's sake, really. But playing Elden Ring has sort of conditioned me that that's just there for help, really, and it doesn't kind of advance story, really. I might be wrong there. There might be a side quest or two that officially continues when you summon them, but you get my point. I just thought of them as like help. But now I need to summon. I assume it's a golden name on the ground somewhere. She didn't say where. I was paying attention there. She did, she gave me no fucking hint. Um, I don't have a summon item, do I? We've learned that the place is called Ulasile. Or Ulysseel, sorry. Which, by the way, is a funny name. Ulysseel. I like it. And we've got to summon her, clearly, to advance some shit. But where's her name gonna be? Let's discuss what we know. I know the DLC is all about the Abyss, and Artorius of the Abyss. In fact, the DLC is actually called that, isn't it? Like, Artorius the Abyss, or the Artorius the something walker. 
So it's all about Artorius. Sif in the graveyard has something to do with it. I know that very well. Out of all your descriptions from Sif. I don't want to have to Google it, so let's just try and, you know, just vaguely piece together anything to do with Sif or Abyss. Crest of Artorias. The door leads to the grave. See, that's what opened the big door to go to the Sif fight. That's probably going to be the first place I check, is that graveyard. Da -da 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 -da, nothing else. So, graveyard is, is top of my priority list of places. What about rings? They seem important. Like, fuck, if there's something I've learned, it's the rings are important. I mean, that's the one that lets us go to the Abyss to fight the Four Kings. Knight Artorius' covenant with the Beast of the Abyss. It's where, like Artorius himself, can traverse the Abyss. I wonder if I've got to go to the Abyss. Maybe it starts down in there. That would make a big deal of sense. Tippy top, I'm going to go to the graveyard first, and I'll just go up here. I think this is the fastest way. And then second on the list is actually warping down into the Abyss. Fucking hell! Right, shield's coming out. Shield's coming out. They're still tough as shit. I, how much damage did I just do? I know, I know the number is additive with every hit you do, but I'm sure I just did like a massive hit then. My damage jumped from 600 to like 1400. Oh, it's because I'm doing fucking 300, uh, 300 a hit. Ow. Ooh. Oh, I don't have my poise ring on. That's, that's why I'm getting stumbled so easy. <gasps> hey, we're both missing. Ow. Oh, yes. Yeah, I'm missing the fucking poise ring. That's going straight back on. By the way, I learned something that with a, a DualShock 4 controller, which is what this is, that I have this controller purely for controlly reasons on PC. I don't actually own a PlayStation. But I've learned just today that that weird... That weird little touchpad on top is actually... The, it moves the camera. I think it's officially a mouse, because if I look at, like... The button prompts up there, they're PlayStation prompts, but as soon as I touch that pad, they switch to PC controls. And you can see I'm moving my cursor. And then it goes back to, uh, yeah. So I think that's just moving the, the... But it's interesting, I can move the camera with the stick and the pad. Now, if I, if I reach my thumb over the movement key, I can actually move the camera as well. It takes some practice, but uh, I can at the very least, make tweaks to the camera. Let's say I want to just tweak it off to the side and then let go again. So I might want to practice a bit more with that. That lets me use all my, like, square, circle, triangle, and X keys with ease, rather than having to change my grip style, which sucks. Um, whoa, whoa, okay, let's not do it when there's a, <laughs> a fucking drop to my death right next to me. But yeah, it is very sensitive. If I can reduce that sensitivity, I can see that being really helpful. Kind of. Uh, okay, well, here we are. Any summon sign? Golden thing over there? It's just a flower. Well. Pri priority one on the list is a bust. You know what? I might want to rest at a fire now I think about it, because a lot of shit does trigger only after you've rested at a fire. Right, I've, I forgot there was a fire halfway through the garden. Let's just... Uh, what happens if you try and warp to the abyss without that ring equipped? I'm not going to do it because I'm not a complete fuckwit. But would you just die on the spot? Hmm. Yeah, I assume you would. 
like you would just drop dead or he wouldn't even let you. So let's not be a dick, let's put it on. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. Maybe there's a summon thing in here. If it's not, maybe it's outside of here, up in New Londo or something. Right, ain't no golden name anywhere, okay. Well, in that case, I since I have rested now, I'm going to do exactly what I said I was going to do. Let's go back to the grave again. Uh, what the fuck is that place? Sunlight Altar. Was that behind Mr. Fire Dragon? That's the first time I've seen that one. It is. Dragon back again? No, he's still gone. Okay. Okay. Right. Um, garden? I, I guess it's Andre is the one I want to go to. Yeah. Right, let's just jump cut straight back to graveyard, I guess. And if that isn't where this magical summon sign is, then uh, there's nothing for it. I've just got to search the world until I find a summon. And Sig Maya and his daughter as well. That's three things I've got to find. Well, we're back again. I just have a thought, by the way. Something I haven't been using at all is those pine resins which make you weapon lightning until you die, I, I think. So if I'm facing a dragon, I might just want to sack off the lightning spear completely and just pop a, a lightning crisp, uh, thing on my katana. Um, and let's actually... Yeah, I've equipped it there, so it's on my sl quick slots. Because can you imagine anything cooler than trying to use a katana on a motherfucking dragon? Right. So, if, yeah, if there's nothing here, then I am lost. I guess the the only other place I can conceive of there being anything is uh, just outside the entrance of the abyss, somewhere in the new Londo ruins, but that's going to be a pain in the ass to just wander around. But there's nothing here. Uh, so, I'm also too lazy <laughs> to walk back. Um, yeah. That's it. And if there's nothing in New Londo anywhere at all, um, then I'm absolutely fucking confused. I'll just have to literally run around the entire world. Um, somebody, I believe there was a comment on episode 12. Or 13. Somebody told me that I, I missed something in New Londo. Just like a little area entirely. So, ignoring the DLC anyway, I might want to go back there. You know? So... Yeah, and honestly, I thought I was done with New Londo, Ghost Town, just emotionally, literally, every way you can be done. Is Naked Boy still up there? Obviously. Oh, by the way, a few of you have told me that rolling into NPCs doesn't hurt them officially. So can I roll into him to, like, wake him up or something? I'm sure that's a thing. I don't want to roll off the edge here accidentally, you know? No? Okay. Well, at least it doesn't hurt him and piss off the snake. Why am I suddenly suck assing? Right, okay, Christ. I bet there's nothing here. All this fucking pain and misery. And I bet there's nothing here. I mean, why would there be anything here? Ow. Oh, would you... F motherfuckers. At least the way is open. 
You know what I'm saying? I can't see any so many thing. That is all she told me, isn't it? I might even watch the conversation back again on recording. All she said was the name of the place, and basically, do I want to join her slash help her? And yeah, and she said summon me. She didn't say where, unless she did, and I'm a complete fucking moron. See, that's just a bonfire, isn't it? Am I safe jumping off here? Once I put the ring on. If you get what I'm saying. Because it, it's a cutscene that you land into, usually. This would be an absolute shame and a bunch of bullshit if this kills you. Like a bunch of bullshit. No, 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 no. Safe. Well, I couldn't find anything new and there's no summony names anywhere, so... Clearly, I'm fucking wrong. Well... Um... I don't know what to do, ladies and gentlemen, for this DLC. Well, I, he is down here. Um... Hmm, I must have hit some sort of wall with his little quest line or, or whatever, you know? Uh... Let's just heal real quick. The poison swap like quick... Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if there's something I need to do to progress this further. Like, I gave him the, the poison heal items. It was the last thing I did with him. Um, and now he's just mentioning the poison swamp. And that's it? Resting doesn't progress. I can't give him anything. I've already killed bosses and things. Hmm. Looks like quicksand in there. Hmm. The poison swamp. It's like quicksand in there. Is he referencing somewhere else? Because this is clearly a poison swamp. Uh. Odd. But yeah. Nothing down here. Let's quickly go level up once at the bonfire. Just because I can. And then I'll keep checking out more of the world. Alright. Let's put a point in Dex and re... Oh, I don't have enough points. Hang on. Uh, I thought I would have enough. It's getting expensive. There we go. Point of Dex, just to really start boosting this sword. Fucking hell. Every point of Dex is like skyrocketing my, my katana's damage. Dude. Bruh. Awesome. Right, okay. I did think maybe heading back down to Demon Ruins, but es but especially the, um... The... the, 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 the what am I trying to say? Lost Isolith. Um, because I'm not con fully convinced I checked everything out down there. Um, and there was a short, a handy shortcut here, so while, you know, when in Rome... I think one comment did say I actually missed stuff down here as well. I, I claim to be thorough, but apparently I just keep missing shit. Like some sort of basic bitch. Oh. Okay, multiple things. It's fucking tiny, but there's a Titanite demon down there. Um... So I'm wondering if that- I know where I am. I'm just in front of Lost Isolith. So that Titanite demon respawns. Which is interesting. And I've just seen there is a fucker in front of me. I don't know who it is. There's too many fuckers in this game. <laughs> um, but someone's down here. Good guy, bad guy. Oh, I don't like his- whatever he's got on his head. What's that? Oh, is that one of these little spider monkey things? Did he... Was this a friendly guy who got spidered? Uh, oh! Who is this? Finally, I have found it. What have you found? Uh, my very own son. I... 
am the sun. Who? I've done it. I know that. Yes, I did it. I did. Oh. Is this guy just bound to die now? Is he? Is he like? Is he like jizzing in his pants right now? Right, there's been a sun guy multiple times throughout this game. You'll have to forgive me, I've been, uh... I mean, I'm sorry to have to do this, sir, but you're trying to kill me. I can't be allowing that. And, uh, and also, you suck generally as a warrior. I'm sorry. It's yeah. My son. It's Humanity. Ooh, sunlight talisman shield. Straight sword. I'll read this. The shield's the only one that might have any interest for me. Ooh, and his full armor set. So, yeah. Forgive me, this is my first time playing the game. So it's a lot of the NPCs, like, overlap in my memory. Um, was the very first time I met this guy out up in the on uh, the edge of the undead berg like near the dragon bridge like in fact down the end of the dragon bridge and he was like staring off into the sun ironically was that this guy because i think later on in the playthrough like halfway through it i was mentally confusing the golden boy and him just just together for some reason um somebody give, somebody let me know in the comments like give me a rundown of all the places you see this guy because I think there's only been one guy talking about the sun isn't that correct and it was this guy also on the end of Dragon Bridge and then I can't particularly remember him since then really um, I think I did see him somewhere in fact was he or was he not in Anno Londo where all the silver knights are wasn't he in the room with the bonfire down at the ground level in there I'm sure that was Sun Boy. And I've just found him. I don't know what triggered him to come here, but he got a spider to the face. Little bastards. What if they can jump on my head? You little bastard. And I was forced to kill him. Oh my god. Let's, uh, let's look at his shield anyway. It might be really good. I've had to kill basically every NPC. I've either had to kill every NPC or they've died on me. You know what I mean? There's only a couple remaining. <laughs> That's fucking Sigmire and his daughter. And they could still die. God help me. Um, You've got the big boy back at Firelink Shrine since the start of the game. He hasn't died. But everyone else I've either has gone hollow and I've killed... Or they've just died on my watch. Or I've killed myself intentionally like Golden Boy. You know what I mean? This is... Have I failed every side quest? Or were half of these people doomed to die? <laughs> That's the danger of a blind playthrough. Shit like this happens. Oh, well, there it is. Uh, it's not a small shield, so it's got... S Ooh, it's good for physical reduction. Okay. Not bad for fire. Shield of Solaire of... That's his name. Solaire of Astora, Knight of Sunlight. Decorated with a holy symbol. I've still got some of his sunlight medallion things that have just been sitting in my inventory the whole time. I'm guessing you use those with his covenant, the sunlight covenant, perhaps? Decorated with a holy symbol, but Solaire illustrated it himself, and it has no divine powers of its own. As it turns out, Solaire's incredible prowess is a product of his own training and nothing more. I mean, I don't want to talk ill of the dead. <laughs> but you can imagine what I'm thinking. Either I'm really overpowered or he just... was not that great. Maybe I'm just really overpowered and he was... he was being brain fucked by one of these spiders, so you can't hold it against him. Maybe in pure... unadulterated... red titanite chunk for these, these little shit munchers. It's fantastic. Yeah, maybe if he wasn't being brain fucked by a spider, maybe he would have, like, just handed my ass to me, I like to believe. <sighs> oh, 
I'm a risk taker. Oh, How can I land the most epic of jumps and then I just walk off to my death anyway? Okay, we are back, I believe. Okay, so... I just, uh, teleported my ass to an Orlando, and then, um, I realized, you know what, I, this is one... I, I'm wandering around, I've been wandering around longer than you probably think. <laughs> um, basically, long story short, I had to Google it. And I'm glad I did now, because there's no fucking... There is no chance in hell I would pretty much ever have discovered how to advance this DLC and actually get to the DLC location. Because it... Okay. Okay. Here it is. I googled it, and one of the, the wiki page came up, and then reaching Ulus Isle was the tippy top of the page, and it was right there, like straight away, how to reach the, the place. And then I, start, I read it, was like, oh, that's a, that's kind of bullshit. <laughs> and then I stopped reading immediately. So I haven't seen anything else after what I have to do next. So I might have to Google it again if it continues to be hard. But I do know what to do. We have to go loot a broken pendant from a crystal golem I've already killed. And the worst thing is, it's just a random crystal golem. It's not a special golden one, it's just another blue one. But it's the one... I believe that's like towards the start of the Duke's archives. Like if it was a golden crystal, I might get it, but it's just a regular fucking mob that drops it. I mean, that's a bit of a kick to the penis. You know what I'm saying? Um, well, I thought it was here. I guess it's upstairs. Anyway, I'm glad I Googled it. That was one of those moments very, very rare moments where I'm glad I did because that would have been impossible to figure out on my own. I could have literally scoured every inch of this game and not found that because I would just almost certainly have run past the mob and not killed it, so I wouldn't have ever known. Y you know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, fuck. I would have hated to have been the first person to have tried to figure that out back when this game first dropped. Scouring the land. <laughs> Trying to figure it out. So it's that one there. Out. Ooh. That was close. Oh, they're resistant to, uh, to this sword. But not backstabs. <laughs> mm. Are they just resistant to everything physical? Or is it the, the halberd specifically? Hmm. I mean, they're not that resistant. But yeah, Christ alive. I mean, if I was checking this place out even. Let's say I'd already checked out every inch of this game except this area. The, the second I came here... I'm looking for visual clues. I will just run past this crystal golem right here, almost certainly. Yeah, you, know, you know? This, that's bad. This is bad. Bad, 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 bad. Especially considering it's not even attacking me. Sorry if you wanted me to, um... I know a lot of people clearly don't want to watch a blind playthrough and watch them have to Google shit. That's kind of the... I feel bad about it. If it's any consolation, I don't like having to Google it. I really hate it. Um, so if you hate it, I'm right there with you. But even y'all, even the, the most stalwart, like, stoic defender of truly playing blind has to, like, side with me here that this is a little bit impossible. <laughs> to, you know. If you can go literally everywhere in the game and still not figure it out because you've got to kill a regular mob somewhere, you've got to hand it to me. It, it you know. Yeah. I'll stop going on about it. Yeah, I've made my point. So apologies that I've had to Google it, but uh, let's just get on with the DLC. Now I know what to do. Ooh. 
There, there it is, broken pendant. And I just, I didn't even click to loot that, I just got it. Let's give that a little read. Um, uh, see, I already had a pendant um, from God knows where. Uh, Rhea, up in Undead Parish, I believe. And that's that's got no effect, but does it? You never know these days. Is that a key, technically? It is. Broken stone pendant deeply enchanted. Half of a broken stone pen half of a broken stone pendant. The vine appears to originate from Ula's eel. A powerful magic can be sensed from this ancient stone, yet men of this time can neither manipulate nor sense its power, which has a distinct air consisting of both reverence and nostalgia. Okay. Right, I, I read where to get that you needed this and where to get it, and then I stopped reading, so I have no fucking clue. Uh I mean Christ, what do I do now? <laughs> do I check the, do I have to Google it again? Um I, I may have to. I don't know. I'll try and refrain. I'll tell you what, I'll I'll hit up the main ones again. I'll uh The, the main locations are back where she is and speak to her again. The Sif graveyard and then down in the abyss. I'll do it in that order as well. Um, so I'll go and speak to her. Maybe she couldn't get home without the pendant. That sounds possible. Well, I'm back down here again. I've just got to say this episode might be an absolute pain in the ass for me because... I've recorded this so far in like eight separate recordings. Every time I've stopped to start searching everywhere, I've, I've like stopped the recording and restarted it. Oh. Oh, right, okay. Did I just need to loot that pendant and then a portal opened? W did she vanish after I spoke to her? <laughs> I've, it was like an hour ago, I've already forgotten. Well, she's not here now. Let's commit. God knows what awaits me. But it's pr oh my god, that look that looks cool. Ooh, I like it. it this is so so going to be harder than everything else, isn't it? Okay. What the fuck just grabbed my ass? Was that like a manifestation of the abyss? Or was that like the final boss of this place? What the fuck was that? Okay, I, I guess I'm trapped here. No, I can... Huh. Ooh, I wonder if I warp out, if I can warp back in, or if I've got to go back to that portal again. Anyway, as I was saying before I found the portal, uh, yeah, this record, this episode is currently in like, I'm on recording number nine. So, so there's too much to add together. I don't know how long I've been going basically with all the editing and shit. So I could be on an hour or three hours. I, d I don't want this episode to get too long either. So this might be en end up being a really short episode. I don't really know. Um, whoa, shit. Uh, just like that, I'm facing a boss. Um, ow. Alright, oh, it does lightning, okay. Motherfucker. Fucking hell! Fucking hell! Calm down, would ya? Right, fucking hell, I need to get on this motherfucker. Um, if it- right, my lightning weapon will be weak against him because he's lightning. So what's my best move? I'll try using this weapon. I'm so unprepared.
No, 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 no. Ooh. Fucking hell, right? That big one is quite high damage. I kind of want to try fireballing him. He's got a scorpion. This is a very cool boss, by the way. <gasps> oh, shit. Water. So this guy's... Right, this guy's got a scorpion tail. He's got, like, an double angel wings. He's got the horns of a ram, the body of, like, a lion and a wolf. Four... I'm just- I'm just practicing the old attacks. Ow. Woo! You missed. Don't go anywhere. Oh, I'm poisoned. That's fine. I can, I can, I can, I can just heal myself. No problem. Fuck! Okay, bad, bad, bad. Get some distance. Get some motherfucking distance. Oh, fuck off, would ya? Christ. Fuck. Right, okay, I'm full health, I'm cured. Right, let's do this. I want to get close range intentionally now. Come back here. My sword seems to do lots of damage. His his hind quarters seem to be ooh, weak, like unarmored and shit. You know. Fucking hell! What a is, right? Is there, is there more to this DLC than just a boss? There probably is. This is probably just like a basic fucking entry boss. Fucking aerial attacks, man. Is that supposed to Oh. Is that wind and not water? Oh, fuck off. Fuck you. Oh, look at the damage. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> That's most of my easy fire gone. Woo. Let's switch to... Oh, he got me! I dodged that like a pro! That knocks me back even when I'm shielding, by the way. I want to finish him with a Chaos Storm. I just have to. Fucking hell, man. Come on! I can do it! Oh, come on. If you... Oh, if you kill me now, I'll fucking cry. Let's use the whip. Let's whip this bitch. It's just- it's faster than the Chaos Storm. Oof, sometimes his chain is like really long. Chain of attacks. 
I keep forgetting I'm poisoned, but it doesn't matter. It's fine. How did that hit me? Oh god, no. You know what, shall I just hit it with my fucking sword? Be fucking easier. Oh, he kicked me in the gob! One fucking lonely hit. Let's heal again. I want to be... I don't even want to risk it. I know. I like the way the lightning... spreads on the floor slowly. Come at me, motherfucker. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. You motherfucker. Ooh, guardian soul. One humanity, guardian soul. It took 19 flasks. Oh, 18. Ooh, 30,000 souls. Ah, oh, first time. Finally. I'm fully aware that, that uh, I'm probably over leveled for the area. But still. Well, that, it's not officially like a. You know, Lord Soul. Well, I'm not just going to start popping it and using it. Soul of the White Winged Lion Sanctuary Watchkeeper, who dreaded the spread of the Abyss. Uh, am I doing like a bad thing here? The Guardian exhibited traits of several animals other than lions, suggesting that it was no ordinary beast. It certainly wasn't. Ain't no ordinary lion got wings and a scorpion tail but rather closer to the beings known as demons. And I do believe in the story of this game, demons were created solely by the Witch of Isleth doing her shit, trying to recreate the, f the, the, the first fire or some shit. Interesting. Well, I'm not just going to use it just like that. I don't need the souls, you know. I'd rather keep the soul and see if I can do something with it. Um... Uh, cannot remember <laughs> which way I came in. Let's just go up here. I think that might officially be the first named boss with like a proper health bar that I've killed first time. Um, I think I did the but didn't I do the butterfly first time in the garden? That might be the only other exception. I've done a bunch of bosses on the second time, like the Iron Golem was second time. Uh, yeah. But yeah, good. Good. Even if, even if that was just like a basic bitch like guardian to this place, it was still technically a boss. Right, so what's the crack? We've got mushroom folks. Some suspiciously person-looking, uh, statues. Is this a friendly mushroom, maybe? Hello? Hello! Oh, can I become friends with the shrooms? Hello. Well, look at this one. Ooh. From what faraway age hast thou come? Thy scent is very human indeed, but not intolerable. Ah! <laughs> Princess Dusk's saviour. Indeed. Thine aura is precisely as she described. I thank thee deeply for rescuing her highness. Oh, was she like a queen? Princess Dusk oh, is princess. here no longer. Snatched away by that horrifying primeval human. Who? And so I must ask, couldst thou once more play the saviour? I love the fact that a mushroom is asking me to do shit. That that... That alone is just awesome. <laughs> Fucking mushrooms asking me to do a quest. Yeah! Thank you. I am Elizabeth, guardian of this sanctuary. Indeed. Something of a godmother to Princess Dusk. I shall assist thee to my utmost. Is she, are you upset that I, I killed your lion? With the sorceries of Aura Seal. Okay! 
have they got nothing to say about the fact that I just killed the actual guardian of this place? I figured that would have been friendly with the mushroom, you know? So I can repair... Hidden weapon, hidden... Ooh. The right... Hang on, turns the right weapon invisible. That strongly sounds like some PvP shit to me, so, you, so that your opponent can't see what weapon you're using. Body? Turns the body nearly invisible. Although perfect invisibility is unachievable due to the risk of dissipation, the caster need only stand still for a moment. Interesting. Cast light. Ooh, hang on. Can you actually cast light without a lantern? Cast a bright light upon surroundings. You can. You need 14 int. Um, but I think I've got 14 int. Haven't I? Um. Da -da 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 -da. Demonstration. I wonder how long that lasts. If it's only like a few seconds, then fuck that. You can magically repair. So these are like all useful things rather than like fighting spells. Chameleon. Transform into something inconspicuous. A separate stealth spell from Hidden Body. A skilled stealth sorcerer must be aware of his or her surroundings and of which objects are prime candidates for imitation. How about a mushroom? Interesting. It's only a thousand sold and I, I definitely want the cast light just so I've got it. And I'm tempted to buy Chameleon, just because I want to turn into like a mushroom or a shrub or something. I'll leave the rest for now. Clearly you've got to use a catalyst to do that. Thou shalt see further on. An abyss was begat of the ancient beast, and threatens to swallow the whole of Ulysseel. Knight Artorius came to stop this, but such a hero has nary a murmur of dark. Without doubt, he will be swallowed by the abyss, overcome by its utter black. Are we going to see Artorius Indeed. himself? The abyss may be unstoppable. Still, I have faith that Princess Dusk may be rescued yet. Oh, right. Sorry, sorry for the yawning. I'm, I'm tired. Um, she just said that an ancient beast, be, beast, ancient beast begat the abyss. I do believe that means an ancient beast created the abyss. Am I going to fight some ancient beast? And who is this human that's taken the princess? Is it like Artorius? May the flames go. I'll, I'll keep talking, actually. Struggling. If there's anything I can. Never hesitate. Anything else from me. See for an abyss was begat of the ancient beast. Ancient beast. And threatens night. Artorius so the abyss is threatening this place. Night but such a hero has nary a murmur of dark. Without doubt, he will be indeed still. Right. So it sounds like Artorius came or went to the abyss to defeat it or stop it or whatever. And from everything we've heard of Artorius of the abyss. He seems like he was a good guy, but she might have just told us in Old English that he was not able to resist the Abyss. Is this human we're hearing about stealing the princess, is that like shadowy form of Artorius? And maybe he's the final boss. What does that sound? What's this? Well, I like the story of it so far. It's cryptic as ever with Dark Souls, but uh, the general gist. The general gist is we're rescuing the princess who has been stolen. Um, is this or is this not the bridge that goes to Sif's graveyard? That's the exact... Oh, no, it is different. There's no path up... Um, from that bridge, but it looks very similar. Very similar. Like, legendarily similar. Is this like an, a past version of that? I'm intrigued. What are these things? Royal Wood. 
she did, uh, the lady, the princess, did say at the start of all this, um, I come from a, a, lo a time long ago, she said. Now, I, th I took that at the time to mean she's really old, but maybe it meant she literally is from the past or something. Oh, get fucked. Oh, these are weak as shit. Okay. Hang on, are these like the, uh... Am I right? Is this in the past? And are these like the ancestors of the modern trees? Because they, they've they got the same loot. The, the cure items for poison and bleed. Except these ones are like slightly chunkier looking wood. And also, they've got little tridents. Oh, shit. Everything is slightly different. Like, this is just like your regular stone guard. This is like your regular stone guardians, except they look slightly different and they're slightly stronger. Stop swinging at me. Oh, he got me. He fucking got me. Right, okay, these are resistant to physical. Gotcha. Um... I might have to put on your black... I'm up. Okay, my cat's making all sorts of weird noises. I hope she's okay. Um, let's put on a black knight sword or something. So something that can do just more damage. I don't know if it's resistant to all physical or just slash. But I've got to change weapon. It was good against the trees, but uh... Let's just go full-blown fury sword. See if fire damage is good enough. It is still slash, but the fire might be better. <sighs> okay, now, right, okay, they, these guys are so much stronger than the other ones. Right, no, they're still... Still resistant. Fuck! <laughs> right. Good old physical. <sighs> Fucking hell! I might have to um, kindle that fire. Right, they're still resistant, but... Just such a high damage weapon. Right, uh, I do need to go and kindle that fire. But, at the same time, that'll resurrect this fucker. So I'll save that just for now. Ooh. This is definitely the same place, though. Uh, you've got what looks like an extra big fucker over there. I am gonna go kindle the thing. I need 20 flasks. But if I'm uh, on the money with this being like a future or a past version, I think I'm thinking past because that's what the princess said. Then that means that this place. It's not coincidence. It, it's the exact same layout, surely. Um, but the graveyard is here, a door and a graveyard. But it, other than that, it is a different layout. There's like more rocks and trees and shit. Although, this kind of looks like a graveyard as well. Strange. Either way, let's pop some of my many humanities. Uh, let's go human and kindle three times up to 20. I won't regret it. And who knows, there might be an invader somewhere. Didn't even think of that. As a matter of fact, this being a DLC, and just uh, DLCs generally exist to just add content to a game, I wouldn't be surprised if there was an invader. It's just more content, you know? 15, and then 20. Being human, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna run back to the entrance of this place, just to check that there ain't no, um, thing. 
I don't think that Sanctuary Garden will count as the area boss, you know what I mean? Which invalidates farming soft humanity and invaders being present. I might try and run around all your big old scary things of armor. If I remember reading right, isn't the only thing that's strong against armored enemies strike weapons like maces? I think everything else is shit, including thrust. It might be worth throwing on my lightning spear, actually. I'm not sure I would categorize planty things as being weak to lightning. Let's just rely on the good old Black Knight swords for now, since it's so damn powerful and it's been a good while. If this is a past- oh god, let's kill these things. Four hundred and fifty damage from a running attack. I forgot how good this was. <laughs> uh, right, okay, hang on, calm down. I don't want to fight all these. Let's just start running around. I can kill the weak folks. The big armored fucks can go fuck off. There's no, like, cat monsters, is there? This is the exact place. It is. It's the same layout. That's where the ca cat monsters were, up there. So, this is definitely the same place, but, like, a different time, or, like, dimension, or some shit. Which is very cool. But if that's true, all these monsters seem tougher than... current monsters. Maybe shit has softened over the years or something. Oof. Hello! Goodbye. Now, if this is the same world space, I wonder, like, what the boundaries are. How much of the old version of this world can we see? What the fuck is this? Ow, you little fuck! That thing is still chasing me. I might need to just, like, kill this thing. Oh, right, my power attack was fantastic, but so was his. <laughs> Look how much damage I did! Fuck! Fuck! Mucho fucko. Jesus Christ. Right, can I pull off, like, a chaos storm here? Like a well-timed thing. I need them both to, like, attack me. It worked, but Christ, I nearly died doing it. Jesus. <laughs> right, okay. This is so cool. I wish I could see a side-by-side. -side. This ruin is what leads to that cat friendly Catwoman in the window. The, uh, the... Covenant you can join, that's that window right there. But I'm pretty sure there's no ruins like this shit in the modern day. Big old door down there. This is cool! Oop, got some loot. I wonder if that same cat woman is going to be here, and it turns out she's just really, really old. Uh, this was not here before. Mm. Guardian Gauntlets. Either this is like way in the past or some shit, like thousands of years, or there's been some significant change. For gloves, that's an epic amount of poise, what the fuck? Ah, it's the Stone Knight shit. Okay. Animated by magic, and their enchanted gauntlets are oppressively heavy. Understood. Wasn't there a... I'm sure I saw two items. 
Uh, okay, in the future, this is a pathway. There's a bridge that goes over there. Mm. Before we commit to going down and possibly in that arena looking place, what else is outside? My cat is behind my monitor and she's making weird noises and I keep thinking I'm hearing shit in game. Dude, there's all sorts of shit. Well, let's go down now and I can always come back up, you know? Or home bone my way back. Oh. Ah. Oh. Right, I'm guessing this is a shortcut, like, thing I can turn on later. Okay. These things fucking see you from miles away. Whew. I've got 17 flaskages left. Something's on, already on my ass. I can hear it walking. Let's go over there. No one saw me. I might even equip that ring that makes me silent just to attract even less attention. Hello! Hello! Hello. So it's, hang on. Right, part of the story is that all the, pretty much all the dragons have been dead in our time in the game. I'm guessing all your dragons are still alive in this time. Dude, oh, the water is lower now. Huh. And there's no hydra. But I can see loot down there. Dude. I mean, hello, Mr. Dragon. I'm wondering if all your dragons are just uh, upset no matter what and just fight you. Oh. I'm pretty sure that red spiky fuck that flew away from us today. Um, I'm pretty sure he turned against the dragons and he wants to kill us. Maybe the dragons are actually friendly? I, I highly doubt it because they're fucking dragons. But you get my meaning. Hello, you little lizard fuck. Finally, I actually got one. Oh, we've got some purple mist and some black goop. I dead if I walk off the edge. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, hello, you fuck. Is he trying to chop me with garden shears? Fuck off. Mm. Well, I'll get the loot that's right here. This is big. If you can go to the bottom of, like, the basin and shit, this is a big playable area. Where to go first? Hello? Okay. We've got a hole. Let's not fall down it. Oh! Oh! <sighs> <laughs> Why do I even bother talking? Every time I do, I just I curse myself. And now I'm not now I'm not human anymore. I've got so many humanities. I'm just gonna stay human basically all the time. I've got 39. And I don't want to be ugly anymore. I 
I want to be beautiful. Let me know on, av av on average the sort of length of this DLC. In addition, like, compare it to any of the areas like Tomb of the Giants. Or, you know, shit like that. It might take me like multiple episodes for all I know. Is he still on my ass? Oh, these guys are quite fast, actually. Oh, for God's sake. I might have to see to my cat soon. She's just moaning and making weird noises, huh? I'm worried about her. Are you okay? With your odd noises? Right, can I jump that gap? It was it was kind of an uphill gap. You must be able to. Let's not die again. Come on. Let's not be a billy bastard. <sighs> Better be worth it. Guardian helm, I'll never use it. <laughs> uh Can we look down into the basin from here? We can. Dude. Right, there's no- Oh! Right! You see, up from there is like undead berg and shit. The entire fucking fortress isn't there. None of it's here. I know Londo is still at the top though. Huh. Okay, so half the world ain't here. Let's might as well just get all the loot over here and shit. Was he doing like a a lookout move? He's actually a lookout. Let's kill him. While I've got plenty of space. Let's whip out some fire and see, see how good fire is, eh? At least these guys don't have shields. Easy. Easy, bitch. Gow's Great Arrow. There's something colourful up above my head there. Hmm. Muy interessant. Well, let's grab every speck of loot and keep going. I'm going to get the full Guardian set, I see. That's from the place with your three cats. You are you okay? Fucking hell. I'm gonna have to cut this episode short and see to my cat. I don't know if she's okay. She's acting weird. I'm not happy. Alright, okay, let's go around. I'll save jumping off into the purple misty abyss for last. Um, we can go... Hello. Are, they, are these actual, like, gardeners protecting their garden? They've actually got garden equipment. Sorry, I'm getting lost here. Uh, is this somewhere I've been already? Nope, there's loot. Fuck! Oh, for fuck's sake. E oh, a running attack one handed. Oh, it doesn't quite kill him. I see. Four pronged plow! They're plowmans! 
They're plowmen. Right, where's that? What, what do you call a trident when it's got four prongs and not three? Because I ain't calling nothing a prod... A, a, a quad dent. But that's shit damage. Spear. Da, 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 da. Four pronged plow wielded by the wooden scarecrows. Serfs of the forest sanctuary. The scarecrow... The... <sighs> I need a break. <laughs> the Scarecrow Serfs would not normally use these four-pronged plows as weapons. <coughs> but their sharpness makes them very deadly. I wonder if the other ones drop the shears. The garden scissors things. Because they do have different weapons. Hmm. Oh, I see. Ah, I see you over there, you little bastard. You little bastard. Come back here. Yes! Uh, I didn't see those. A couple of whites and a couple of greens. Well, I killed two of the little bitches. At least these things are weak to fire. Ooh, get slapped. Ow, I got slapped. <sighs> Jesus Christ. You know, considering how tough these are, I would like some more souls for killing them. I like to think I'm accomplishing something by destroying these little abyss crystals. Well, I'm on the other side of that chasm now. Is that a bonfire down there? <laughs> uh, I've got just the perfect item for, for this. <laughs> um, no, it's not. It's just some kind of... Don't backstep fucking hell. Right, okay. So we were over there. Well, I haven't gone down yet. Ah, right. Is this the way down? Okay, before we do, there's plenty of shit loot still up here. Oh, there, ooh, there is more shit. Like all the way down. And half of it looks like ruins. Is this where it turns out? That this isn't the past, but it's the future, and the fucking shit has fallen. Because <laughs> the, the, there is no town beneath uh, in the normal world. Mm. There's no way we're not fighting or at least meeting Artorius of the Abyss in all of this. They're actually pruning the leaves. Are these ones going to be friendly? I'm not going to interrupt if they're just pruning the leaves. Nope, no, 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 no. I'm the one being pruned. I'm the prune. Oh, fucking hell, there's even more, man. This is too many. This is too many. Don't die, please 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 don't die. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Um Let's 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 drive them into the choke point. Into the choke point. I'm not I'm not done looting you little fuckers. Is that bleed they're giving me, officially? It is, isn't it? That 
That's why they're all dropping bleed things. Oh no, they're not. That's dropping poison. Okay. Uh, I got the loot in there. I like the fact that we've even got like buck buckets of water to, to water the plants. I feel so evil. I had this thought multiple times in Elden Ring as well. How I feel like I'm the one that's actually the invader and evil. They're just doing innocent like pruning of some leaves and they've even got like buckets of water and shit and I'm just running around killing them. Hello. At least I have pretty much every single speck loot. Or do I? Secret passage? Oh my god, it actually is. I hope this is really awesome, whatever this is. Elizabeth's mushroom. Elizabeth is... That's not the princess, is it? That That's either the princess that's been kidnapped or the mushroom that I met on the way in. Tis one or the other. Mushroom. Elizabeth's mushroom greatly restores HP for a limited duration. Large medicinal, medicinal mushroom. <laughs> hey, that sounds fun to me. It is the, the mushroom we met on the way in. Elizabeth Keeper of the Sanctuary. Eating this mushroom invigorates the flesh and greatly restores HP for limited duration. It's dramatic and- right, so my, my health bar just increases for a while. Okay. That sounds like something to use in a difficult boss fight. Well, I think we literally have looted every scrap, so let's go up again. I wonder if putting that Ring of the Abyss on will do anything at all. Hang on, are these little black mounds that I've been rolling into, are they people? That kind of looks like a woman. <laughs> it looked like a woman. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Do you see what I'm saying? I mean, not not really, but well, okay. Let's go down the elevator. I feel like I'm accomplishing something by hitting those. All right, let's go down. Now, can I activate the other side before I go anywhere? Oh, right, that's the way down there. Okay. Oh, we've got plenty of shit around here. Okay, I see. Oh, God, help us all. I don't even want to know. Um, major fog door, that's... <laughs> major fog door into what is clearly like the, the the arena to end all arenas. Oh, shall sure. I'll save that for last. If there's something I learned from New Londo, it's to save the fog door for last. Of all potential things to do... That comes last. Let's cross the other side at least to open up the shortcut. I assume it's a shocker then. Oh, hello, top hat. Uh, is this is this V from uh, V for Vendetta? <laughs> remember, remember the fifth of November, the gunpowder treason and plot. 
I know of no reason why the gunpowder treason should ever be forgot. Okay, so. Who the fuck? Is this the guy who kidnapped the princess? Hmm. Ah, let me guess. Snatched by a shadowy limb and dragged off to the past. Past? It is the past. It is the past. And that was one... That thing that grabbed me was one limb? That, that was one big arm. Yes, of course. Exactly what happened to me. We are both strangers in this strange land. This guy looks awesome. At least now there are two of us. So this guy got yanked down here with me. He's, he's got that rogue sort of outlaw vibe to him. He's got daggers on his pants. He's got a mask covering his face. He's got a creepy little but cool hat. He's like, he's like hiding his identity. Is this guy full of shit? Is this the one that kidnapped the princess? At least he'll sell shit to me. Uh, oh god, how long have I been going? I might go for maybe 30 more minutes. I don't want this episode to get, to get too long and I don't know how long it's been. Well, at least you can sell shit too, yeah, but I don't need any of it. You can buy Homeward Bones. You know what, I might buy a bunch of those, because I've that's this is the first time and a humanity. That's the first time I've seen bones being buyable. I've probably forgotten some on a vendor somewhere. Uh, merchant somewhere. But I haven't seen one for a long time and they're useful and I've been going through them because I'm a lazy bastard. I've got seven. How about we uh, get up to fifteen? Oh, that's so cheap. Let's get 20 total. Thank you. I appreciate it. Any info for me? Did you happen across Knight Artorias? Not yet. A legendary abyss walker from the old tales. I've got his sword. Well, if you haven't, it's just as well. He's a colorless sort, if you ask me. <laughs> I like your little golden dagger. If I kill him, can I get that dagger? And he's like golden... Boots? Are those arrows on his leg? Those golden looking things? They are, aren't they? It's hard to see, but I think those are actually quivers on his legs. So, what did that giant mushroom make you do? Not that I care. It's none of my business. <laughs> Is this guy like a... This guy's like a dodge... A shady businessman in like the 30s. Hmm... <laughs> I have little to talk about. Oh, oh earlier. Really? This is like a guy oh, from... you know me. What do I know? <laughs> it's like a guy straight out of, like, Victorian times. Hmm. I have little to talk about. This really. could be Jack the Ripper. Oh, you know me. What do I know? <laughs> this could legit be Jack the Ripper from, like, 1850s London. Hmm. Right, okay, right, okay, right, so he's got some, talk. so he's got some d interesting shit to sell me. Let's crank this shortcut up. Get this working. Um, there's nothing to stop me now. Now I've done that. I assume that works from both sides now. Um, but it's not an impossible run if I die. Let's keep checking everywhere out. I will... Um, hang on, let me just see if I can go around the side of this place. And then I'll go down into the Hydra... The future Hydra pit. Before I go anywhere else. Right, okay. If I had to place... If I was a betting man... And I had to put money on there being an invader in this place. Um, I'd say it's about 60% chance that there's an invader. Why would you introduce an entire DLC and not have some extra shit, you know what I'm saying? Right, I think it's safe, just for now, to throw the uh, thing back on. Kill these little ratty things. Are they, I don't know if they're cats, rats, dogs. It kind of looks like a cat-rat dog. 
They're definitely more rad than dog. <sighs> okay, they've got bleed. They're dogs. Oh, look at them. Look at their mouths. They remind me of the sort of skinny, like, non-furry dogs in Resident Evil. So not the wolves, but the slick dogs from Resident Evil 2. Hello, you little bastard. Question to all of you in the comments. Can you parry anything other than, like, humanoids' attacks with weapons? I've only ever tried parrying, like, a sword attack, you know, but can you parry, like, a dog's lunge and shit like that? Or is that just wishful thinking? Because yeah, I reckon in real life you could, uh... You could probably jimmy a dog to the side upon attack, you know? Dude, the reach of this katana is longer than you'd think it would be. Shall I try parrying? <laughs> Thanks for the delayed attack there. Can you at least try and hit me? You're just a friendly pooch. Whoa! Okay, kill the fucking thing. Die. Oh, for fuck's sake, would you? Just die. Bloody hell. But if, right, and back to the invader point. If there is an invader, where would you put it, considering I haven't seen it yet? I reckon that's just a main boss door over there. Hydra Pit. I'm sorry that I missed that, but I, I, I could tell. I, I had one frame of its tail. It's that same dragon again. Uh, okay, this is clearly going to be a dragon arena, isn't it? Where the fuck is it? There it is. If this ain't a dragon arena, nowhere is. I might try and grab the loot while I can. I'd love for it to turn out that this is actually a friendly dragon. He has been running away from me. You know, I'm actually suddenly terrified. The, in the current world, like, the normal world of this game. The portal to this place where we got grabbed by a giant arm was right here, essentially. Am I going to run into a massive monster in this time? Worth a try. Hey. Well... There's no way. Oh, hello. Hey, here he comes. Excuse me? Excuse me? What the fuck? Is that supposed to be just, just, just full, fixed, uncompromising, unwinnable death down there until I've done something else? Because I'm pretty sure that black fire was the entire area and it just basically two shot killed me. Ain't no special rings or anything gonna help with that. Ain't no lining spear gonna contend with that damage. But I did have plenty of time down there. I don't know if that was time or the fact that I just approached that area where the, where, where the loot was on the floor. Can I speak to this mushroom again since I'm here? Thank good. What is thy wish? Thou art from a time far, far ahead. There are okay. many things I wish to ask, but I know that I must not. The perils of our time are over. Right, okay, well, okay. Cool. 
Was thine eye glancing hither? It was. Thou needs not hide thy wonder. I am a mushroom, after all. <laughs> so she's aware how weird it is that she is a mushroom. <laughs> that's, okay, that's like almost f breaking the fourth wall there. <laughs> Okay. Thou needs not hide I, I hope she might tell us about that masked stranger <laughs> selling us some bones. Well, I will, this time when I go down there, I'm going to try looting as fast as humanly fucking possible. Well, this so far I'm really liking this DLC. The fact that I've time jumped a long time apparently, and it's clearly that the entire castles haven't been built yet and shit, so... At least several hundred years, you know what I'm saying? Maybe several thousand. So long. Goodbye, bitch. All right, let's heal to full. Because clearly, I need every single iota of health. And I'm guessing the breath isn't... L Is that a chest down there? A strangely lit up chest. It is, isn't it? Whoa. Um, right, okay. I must be safe going up the ladder. So if this dragon attacks me, I might just emergency try and climb the ladder. I'm just going to go for the loot. I've still got like a few seconds before it swoops in whenever it does swoop in, you know? So far, so good. Develop a message. A dragon high above the sky, out of sight. What the fuck, man? What the fuck, man? What the fuck? WT fuck, man. Well, I got the three loot items. I think it was all just shit. I'll try and get the chest next time. You've got a good, like, 30 seconds or something before all that thing swoops in. It's enough time to loot stuff. But, uh... Like, fuck it, let's just waste another humanity. <laughs> Why not? Right, what, am, what was I going to say? Yeah, I reckon I can run to that chest, if it even is a chest, before it comes in. Hopefully. I'm just going to haul ass straight at it. And you know what? I'll probably... I, I will definitely want the... Uh, Rusted iron ring on. I forgot that's water down there. I'm hoping here. I'm hoping that's not deep water. <laughs> I, I might just run straight off the edge to my death here. Fuck the souls, it's irrelevant. Let's just go for it. Even if I hear a dragon, I'm not gonna look. Right, I can't see an edge. It looks shallow to me. Go, 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 go. I can hear dragon. Come on. Go, 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 go. No, no, no! No! Fuck you! Oh, with the 7,000 second delay. Oh, the fucking delay with opening the chest. That is a cock in the ass, is what that is. No lube. I'm not even going to go human this time, because I know I'm going to die again. What the fuck? I can't believe that. that. That's timed too perfectly. They did that on purpose. They've timed that fucking perfectly so you die before you can loot that. Little bastards. Little bastards in that development department. <laughs> fucking assholes. <sighs> oh, oh could, you, could you open a chest any slower? You know what? I might be having one of my stupid moments here where there might be like a bonfire around the corner and I just literally haven't looked around the corners. Um, oh, right, it doesn't even work. Sorry, okay. Ignore me. Let's, let's continue jumping back to old dragon bitch. By the way, I'm back again. Um, did you notice how that fire-resistant ring did fuck all, so clearly. 
Ah, oh, I keep forgetting to put the goddamn hem shit on. I'm just gonna run for it. As fast as I possibly can. I just need to click like a motherfucker. Tighter. <gasps> it was worth it again. It was worth it. It was worth it. It was worth it. Huh. Well, you know. Dude. That will get my, uh... <laughs> In fact, can I do it here or do I need Andre to do that? Because if I can get that to plus 15 right here and now, at least I've... Uh, oh, I need 200 souls. Are you fucking kidding me? Really? <laughs> Let's just use a soul. Fuck it. I might have to end the episode basically here. I might try... I saw one more item, and I might try and run and die to that item, you know? But at least some good came of that dragon, bitch. <laughs> Namely, I've got a plus 15 katana, I do believe. And I'm committed. This is my slab is going on this because it's such a cool weapon. Hell yes, achievement unlocked. Strongest weapon. Um. Cool. Well, yeah. Very cool. I'm happy I finally got a max weapon. What is that actual achievement? Because I've already got a couple of maxed weapons. Strongest weapon. Acquire best weapon through standard reinforcement. Right, okay, that makes sense. Very cool. I, God only knows what the damage of that katana would be if I put all my points into dex over strength. It would be crazy big. And we're back again. Now you might have noticed my clothes have changed. I thought, you know, and I put the fire resistant shield on as well. I'm just, you know, Whatever advantage <laughs> I can get. And if you... St oh, hang on. Ooh, well, oh, shiny thing. Huh. I saw that shiny fucker. Right, it's a hell of a run to the loot that I saw, so... You might not be able to do this until you've dealt with the dragon. However you deal with the dragon. You see what I mean? It was, it was too far in this direction. And if I die here, I'm not coming back down. <sighs> the shield did actually help me, by the way. Did you notice? Let's go for it. No matter what, let's just grab the fucking loot. The only reason I survived that... Oh god, I'm dead. I got the loot. But, um... But understood. Understood. I, by, by the way, I find it hilarious that I've just... <laughs> brute forced. Oh! I've just brute forced my way to getting all the loot. <laughs> oh. Um, right, okay, so clear I'm glad I got all the loot, including the slab. Um, clearly that's not a fight I can do right now. The only way I survived a single attack was by having my shield raised, and then that's all my stamina and almost all my health gone with a single hit. That's ridiculous, and then he just does it a second time and kills you anyway. That's clearly just fixed death and he's not landing so that yeah no way that's normal um so i'm gonna ignore that for now i hope that's a good thing that i'm doing there you know um this is a good poise i guess Let's go good old normal. I'll keep the spear on, why not? Um, and I will go human and we'll just go through the fog door. 
maybe this isn't maybe this isn't a boss door because that that elevator comes from way down deep below. So I reckon there's plenty of shit to to go in this DLC. I doubt this is like a end boss. Oh. I thought one thing was bad enough. What 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 just killed the other thing? Artorius? Is this Artorius of the Abyss Walker? It's got some heavy armor. Whatever the fuck this is. What was that thing it killed? That looks like my sword. That this must be Artorius because that sword is identical to mine. It is. Oh my god. Right, okay, lesson learned, you can't parry, because that was a fucking perfectly timed parry I just did there. I do not have the equipment I want on. Do you, do you follow me? I wish I had a better, the more stable shield on for a start. You missed. Ooh. Can you just chill for a second? I've just got enough stamina to tank that. Okay, lightning does fuck all. I need to switch weapon. Oh god, I, I, right, I need to figure out when I've got a spare moment to do that. This is going to be fucking hard. Oh my god, I need to get all the the buttons right, you know what I mean? <sighs> Maybe I don't need... I mean... The weapon seems shit. You need to learn how to land your hits, motherfucker. <laughs> Ow, he got me that time. Oh god, this is bad, 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 bad. Oof, my fireball missed, but he didn't hit me either. Oof, right, I can't. I, right, I'm, I might have to do this with a weapon that's weak against him. Right, I put my, I had my shield up then. He just missed. You see that? It's so weak against him. W wouldn't that be a cool flex though if I killed this guy with a a weapon that he is resistant to? Dude, I can't find a spare moment to use my pyromancy. Jesus. At least I've got just enough stamina and shit to block most of his attacks. <laughs> I'm, my, my fireballs are landing, but he seems to be resistant even to that. Oh, I need to be running away, don't I? Don't I? Right, okay, I, I want I need to cool it with the fire, because he don't give a fuck. He is quite resistant to fire. <laughs> 
I love his design. And his purple... Okay now, bruh. You know what, let's just get spear attacks in. I might not need anything more than spear attacks. As weak as it is. Fucking hell, man. Motherfucker. <laughs> That's my power attack I'm doing there, by the way. What? What did he just toss at my ass? Let's do light attacks, fuck it. He likes his fucking flips and his rolls! This might be no better, by the way. But at least, uh, it can't be any weaker than the fucking spear. Oh, he got me. Fucker! I was just... I was too relaxed. I was taking my time. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I was not prepared there. At all. At all. Let's, um... Right, I want the stability shield, because I need as much stamina as possible when blocking, and that's a nice stability. Um... It depends how heavy I am. But I might try and put two different weapons on. Um, this is nice and light, is this? It's like half the weight of the Black Knight Sword, so I might be able to put on another one. Just in case Slash is really weak against him, because he is armoured, and Slash is famously shit against armoured. It's either going to be Black Knight or Fire. But then he does seem resistant to Fire as well. Let's go Black Knight. Uh, mm. You know what, that's so slow to attack. Actually, I'm going to say no to that. Let's put the fire one on. Even if they're weak, a one weak attack is better than doing a slow-ass attack and just getting stomped. Rings. Poise doesn't seem to mean shit, because if I'm getting hit, I'm getting fucking hit. I'm tempted to fuck Poise and throw on... Um, physical defense, that. Or stat hell. Honestly. You know what? I'm going to put on that stamina ring. Right, I'm still medium rolling, so that's good. I'm not going to bother going human, fuck that. Let's try that again. So far his attacks don't seem too crazy. He had that... He's got like a wave of water that he sends after you, which is kind of weird. He tosses like smoky shit behind him if you get behind him. But most of his attacks are kind of easy enough to dodge, in my opinion. Unless there's a phase two, he seems easy enough. I just... I like to spend my first couple of deaths just learning their moves. If you're ever wondering, like, why I'm not running in and uh, being more aggressive, it's just I'm learning all the different attacks. It's it's intentional, believe it or not. Let's use the fire sword to start with, see if it does any damage. <laughs> it's, it's intentional, guys, it is, I swear. Fucking hell, right, okay. Shield is better than rolling, clearly. I want to at least get a one attack on him, for fuck's sake. Why did... Okay, look, at, look how fast your stamina comes back with this ring on. Can I get one fucking hit on him, man? I'm suck assing.
You know, if I let him hit me, it's funny. When I let him hit me with that flip attack, he doesn't do follow-up flips, have you noticed? Okay, that's still just as weak. Let's, uh, put the katana on. I've got a feeling this is going to be even less, because they're both slash. How much damage? 80. I want to see ex the exact damage of a light attack. 85. Let's try this one. Oh, it is. The oh, this... Right, the katana is actually stronger than this. Huh. Right, katana it is. Honestly, the lightning spear might be even stronger than the katana. <laughs> With all the shit I was talking. But that's... The okay, my stamina situation is definitely... Uh is definitely improved. Much better. Honestly, I bet this ring is actually like a secret, like, awesome item. Because getting stamina back faster in a boss fight seems extra strong. With the amount of shit you've got to block. Whoa! Motherfucker! Stop tossing shit at me. No, I'm sucking. I sucked even more. Right, okay. You know, maybe this guy is just really tough and armored because all my weapons so far have sucked. Maybe strike is the way to go. Or even divine. I mean... I don't know if there's any difference between, like, Abyss Darkness and, like, Evil Bone Skeleton Undeadness. Do you know what I mean? Maybe a Divine Club would just be awesome. How about we take off the, the Fury Sword, that's useless against him, and just have a second weapon, but instead it'll be the, uh, the Divine Club. And we'll just, we'll just, we'll just see. Alright, we'll just see. I might be on to something. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Fuck, fucker. Chasing me. Right, okay, I'll get the club out. Uh, my armor's all sort of fine. I was worried that his, his water toss move that he does when he throws water on you might be actually throwing toxic shit on you, but it's not. It just seems to be water. Um, right. Okay. I've got this. Nice and easy. Damage, 37. That's even worse. Oh, fucking hell. I need to be careful with those moves. I'm not crazy. That was worse, wasn't it? Yeah, that's worse. Okay. Katana it is. It's Katana or Lightning Spear. I guess he's just tough. The fire wasn't great, but I'll be honest with you. It was still better than, uh, better than my melee weapons. Right, next time he does that, I'll fireball the motherfucker. Is it just me or is there like a distinct lack of music in this fight? I 
I'll get back to full health. Oh, that, the fr a lot of good that did me. I just want to be full. Fuck, rock, okay, fuck the full health. Come on, lunge at me, there we go. Fuck's sake. Gee, this is one dangerous motherfucker when you're not paying attention. Don't attack me, don't attack me, no! No! It's actually safe to get some distance on this guy. I'm trying to find the perfect time to fireball him again. Yeah, you start doing a fireball and then he starts fucking flipping away. Oh, for fuck's sake! Got him, finally. Is that just an ex a ba basic explosion attack? Fucking hell! Oh my god, you cannot be standing behind him like that. I was blocking! Bullshit! Bullshit! What's happened to my voice? Bullshit! Um, right, okay, let's let's use this. <laughs> That's a fucking another opportunity. Let's get lighter. Let's switch for There's no way to say it, the lightning spear, weak though I thought it was, it's faster than all the other weapons. Like one single poke is fast as shit, and it's more damage. Um Divine, nothing, slash, nothing, strike, even nothing. Um or maybe strike would be good were it not a divine weapon, I don't know, but either way, lightning seems to be the way to go. And I'm definitely onto something with the stamina. So I think I've got this. I just haven't had it yet. <laughs> huh. My stamina game is on point. Now my weapon choice is solidified. I know not to stand behind him because he does that swoop attack and you get locked into like the animation. Oh, fuck off, would you? Just, just leave me alone. Right, let's jump up back to the boss again. By the way, unless there is a phase two or he starts doing some weird shit, I might just sack off the um, the pyromancy for now and just get individual hits. This is nice and fast with the light attacks, so I'll try no pyromancy. Is it? It's a shame because one fireball is doing the damage of like six melee attacks, but I think I'm safer from his follow ups and shit. Even if it's just individual poke attacks like that. Dude is roaring at me. I love the fact that he looks like a fallen knight, you know what I mean? It looks like his armor was nice and shiny silver at one point, with like blue, um, blue like robes and shit. But it's just all gone to shit. <laughs> By the way, this Artorius guy was like 10 feet tall, if you noticed. Ow. What, what is that water toss that he's doing at me?
You see, it's fuck all damage, but but damage is ow. Damage is damage. Doing doing no damage is better than doing. Well, it's better than dying. <laughs> Fuck, man. <sighs> Fucking hell. Right, behind him is definitely dangerous. I want to be in front of him. At least I know where the evil's coming from, then. I wonder if using his own sword against him is somehow good. I've got the His Cursed Sword. That would be really interesting. Especially if he commented, commented on the sword or, or something, you know? That's right, bitch. I've done 1 20th of your health. What have you got to say about that, bitch? He's not healing himself at some point, is he? Maybe I'm doing even less damage than I thought, but every now and then I swear his health bar's going up. How long is this fight going to take if I just get tiny pokes every now and then? I must be pretty tough, you know, just, just generally. Because I'm tanking his hits like that pretty well, I'd say. Just in terms of, like, raw armor. It was annoying me being on the floor there. But I apologize if this takes ages. Um, y you follow me. This is a slow tactic, and if I die, it'll really suck anyway. trying to heal. I want to be on full health just in case it does some super duper attack, you know? I tell you, this guy's got some fucking re uh, range, like distance. Ow, fucker. You think he's miles away, then he's on you. Don't hit me, don't hit me. <laughs> this this might be the most skilled boss I've seen, yeah? In terms of just like doing what I do, rolling around and No, 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 bad, bad, bad. My bad. I'm having to, like, focus harder than any boss yet, basically. Oh, 
Oh, come on. Motherfucker. Did I hit him? Oh, that was fucking close. Damn it, that was so close. I reckon when he does that attack, I can hit him with my fireball. If I just get a little bit closer. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, fuck, man. Just fuck off and calm down, would you? If you tell me this guy's got a phase two, I'll be upset. That's not fair, dude. Fuck. My god, man. Sub me, I'm sucking. Leave me alone. I just want to heal to fall. Is that so much to ask? No, no, fuck me, I need to watch out. More than I am doing. <laughs> Hell, even a little bit would help. Right, I think it's time to go more aggressive. Right, I think sidestepping, getting close and sidestepping is actually even better. Especially when he does his lunge. You can't flip for that forever, motherfucker. Oh god, bad. It likes roaring at me, motherfucker. Bad. Right, okay. Um, what's just happened to him? As you turn... Oh, right. My own lava made him look like he, he turned red. Bad. Ooh. All right, so that water just does damage. <laughs> I've got him on half health. It hit him. It, it did hit him. Whoa! What the fuck? What's with a massive damage increase there? I need to heal. Like yesterday. No, stay away. I need to heal. Come on, do something slow. Good enough. That's the swoop attack that I need to avoid. <laughs> Ooh, come on, you big dumb bitch. You ain't nothing special. In fact, you ain't nothing. You're my bitch, that's what you are. Oh, fuck me, every time I fall for that shit. He does that intentionally, so he makes it look like he's open, but he's not. Go for it, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Damn it. F 
As long, you know, I can shield that, um... I can block that swoop attack, fortunately. Can hit the lava, just the lava. Did he take any lava damage? Oh no, he nearly did. That was nearly. I didn't want to get any closer in case that explosion killed me, and it probably would have. At, at this point, we're just going toe to toe. Have <laughs> you noticed that? We are just straight up going toe to toe. He's got like, have you noticed? He's got like water following him. Everywhere he walks, he's got like a trail of water. Fuck, he got me with it. I'm not dying now, you can go fuck yourself. I'll just take my time to heal, that's all. I'll just take my time to heal. Oh, bad, bad! I'm lucky to survive that. I'm sorry if my commentary is piss poor during this fight, but clearly I'm having to fucking really... Ow, really concentrate. Now I really need to heal. I thought that might- Ow! I thought that might hit him at long range or something. Fuck it, let's commit to melee attacks. I've got this. Good old fashioned melee. You missed, motherfucker. <laughs> Just. I'm only gonna do one hit every single time now. I know it's weak as fuck and I apologize if that's annoying to watch. What the fuck? I can't get hit with a single one of those. Some, sometimes his lunge just goes straight through my guard and, like, fucks me. I just need to heal one time, dude. I needed to. I needed to. Fuck, man. Fuck, man. I've got to heal while taking damage every fucking time. There's like fucking no window here, except when he does the explosion. Or the roar. <laughs> If I die now, I'll be fucking heartbroken. I like to think all of y'all will be heartbroken with me.
You can flip for days, I can roll for days, motherfucker. Ah, I want to heal again. Fuck! Oh, come on, I really thought I dodged that. Shit! No, I am just gonna go for it. I'm gonna physically go for him. Come on, motherfucker. You know, if you just have your shield up most of the time, this guy's absolute shit. <laughs> Granted, it's taken me a long time and multiple deaths to realize this, but, uh... You can block basically all of his attacks. Except the odd random lund, which is just crazy damage. Oh, he's rolling away from me. He's fucking scared of me. I want to be full health for the rest of this fight. Come on. Final round. I'm having to, like, stop blocking to get my stamina back, by the way, if that's not clear. So you've got to time your block sometimes. Ooh. Some of his attacks are scarier than others. Jesus. Come on. He hit me a little bit there. It, is it just me or does he look injured? You see what I mean? He's like, almost looks like he's limping. You know, this actually is easier than I thought, as long as you've got the stamina and the shield and the armor, etc. And plenty of flasks for your mistakes. His attacks themselves are quite easy, you know? What the fuck was that? Attacked you. We're attacking each other now at the same time. I've got no more flasks. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. Let's not get complacent. Like, seriously, let's not get complacent. Fuck you. Let's get some distance in case he explodes. I mean, fuck me, you never know. Soul of Artorius. Good enough for me. Oh, what a way to end the episode. I, I need to rest somewhere and we've got to end it. I, I've been going for too long. Jesus.
Fucking Christ. This is the guy he stabbed in the head. I thought this was going to be the boss. <laughs> okay. Well, let's go up here and see what's here. Fog door? Ah. Oh. Oop, campfire. Um, I've got a choice of campfire or fog door. I think the choice is obvious. Shield raised, in case something tries to grab me. Something's actually making a noise. R rest right now. I don't, I don't care what that sound was. Um, I'm gonna pop a thing and I'm gonna spend those hard-earned 50,000 tokens. Soul of Knight Artorius, victim of the Abyss. Soul of Lord Gwyn's Knight Artorius, who was consumed by the Abyss. The legend that Artorius repelled the Abyss only told half the story. It seems that he was defeated and his honor preserved by some unsung hero who is the true victor over the Abyss. I mean, I defeated him. Or is this referencing some other shit that happened to him? Interesting. Is that enough? Yes, it is. Right. Well earned. Um, honest to God, I am tempted to throw points into dexterity. The Lightning Spear's nice, pokey, fast attacks worked well against him. Very well. Um, I think I'm going to go Stamina again, you know? It's been a while. Very nice. Okay, well, thanks for joining me for this episode. Like, at 17 different times this episode, I've, I've thought, right, I'm going to end the episode now. You know, and then I didn't, and I just kept going, and I'm glad I did. Um, I'm hearing distant screams and shit. Uh, I do need to end the episode, but there's no way this is a boss fight. Purple Coward's Crystal. There's no way this is a boss fight. Right, campfire is out, it's safe to... Battle of Stoicism is only available online. Battle of Stoicism... What did that just, just say? Oh, it's just like PvP um, Arena. You can assign a password or pick specific opponents. 1v1, 2v2, 3v3, a death ma a death match. This might be fun. In a death match, I can just sort of hide in the corner and let them all kill each other. Win streaks. Okay, so this is like your PvP proper arena of the game, it looks like. But this is only DLC. So did they add all of this proper PvP system in the DLC, like, later on? Dual team deathmatch. Can you imagine a team deathmatch? I, I might try that, because then you've got some backup. I'm not personally too interested. Um, maybe once I've finished the game. I don't know, it does go into New Game Plus then. I don't know, at some point I might try and throw in a PvP session. Just like a little short bonus episode or something. Um, I'm assuming this isn't going to do anything bad. View Plague of Legends. Only oh, right, okay, no worries. Is that like a, the leaderboards or something? Okay. I'm intrigued that they added the, all this PvP system after the game's release, honestly. Um, why am I still playing? I need to fucking quit. This is going to be like a seven hour episode. You know, each four hour episode takes a thousand fucking years to render because of my settings. I've got, I, I use a very high sort of quality, but it takes ages. Soul of a hero. Well, I was right then when I said it looked like the Elden Ring Arena, because that's the PvP arena. In Elden Ring. What the fuck did I just hear? Well, let's, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Well, that's death. Can I view PvP that's going on? Okay. 
is, is that sound supposed to be uh, to represent the sound of fighting? But it just sounds weird. <laughs> right, so this is PvP. Okay. Let me know if I'm right, and they maybe added this whole PvP system with the DLC, because maybe people complained that there wasn't a proper PvP system when the game first launched or something? Definitely a great idea, though, because invasions seem a bit haphazard and sort of hit or miss, really. But a proper system like this seems good to me. Especially team battles, that sounds fun as hell, actually. I would definitely be up for team stuff more than solo stuff, because I can't depend on myself, sadly. Right, um... Can I... Uh... Oh, Ulus, I can go back to the Sanctuary. I bet I can't walk back here, so I'm not going to leave this place. We're going to continue next episode right here. Um, and let me just get eyes on where we're going. I can't help myself. I can't fucking help myself. I, I need to quit. So all this place is, uh, is reachable. I'm still hearing screams. Oh, this place is fucking huge. I guess um, I really figured Artorius was your main big bad guy, like hero turned evil or some shit. But I just killed him and there's like clearly like half the DLC to go. So I'm guessing big old abyss monster that grabbed us is maybe the final boss. Or some sort of hideous abyss monster anyway. Right. Thanks for joining me for this episode. I need to just do my outro or, or I will not stop. I, I want to keep playing. Um. Okay, no, just stop. Control it down. Like this video if you liked it. Like this video if you didn't like it. And subscribe for similar content. Oh, <laughs> what an episode. Uh. <sighs> All right. Is that screaming? Oh, God, I can't even do my fucking outro right. <laughs> I've got to finish the thought now. Is that screaming supposed to be Elizabeth and she's, like, being tortured or some shit? Not Elizabeth, she's the mushroom. The the Princess Dusk. Oh fuck, my hard drive's about to fill in one minute. Um, I, I've got a patron if you want to go above and beyond to support my content. Uh, I appreciate it. Catch you in the next episode. Liquid Blitz, out. Out.